Uh, all right, we'll be getting ready to go here soon. Uh, Mail, it's weird how long I've kept the Castle Mini music as part of my lounge music. It's because it's two. It's twofold. One, because I really like the theme itself, both this and the original uh, X Sharp version. Uh, also, two, it's kind of appropriate because this music is the loading theme. This is literally the music that plays when you're loading the game up in the. Uh, I believe it was the X Sharp. They made an entire musical track dedicated to you loading the actual game because I think the game required like a minute and a half to load. Originally, it was front loaded, so they made an entire song while you wait. So that's why it's called the loading BGM. Even like re-releases, it's called loading BGM. <laughs> I don't know if they ever like renamed it to anything else. Because like every other like every other remaster or remix of this song, they still call it loading BGM. Oh yeah, the Adventure Rebirth rendition is also really good too. Uh, okay, we are getting ready to go here. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to a, another session of Metroid Other M, 100%. Uh, we are getting ready to go here, and we are back on our Saturday-Sunday schedule because I missed last week uh, due to me working on the Final Fantasy VI video. And what we're going to do here is first I'll unmute my Discord mic so that I can talk to Experiment. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, and we are going to get things uh, going here. So yeah, we're back on Saturday and Sunday. I streamed earlier this week on Tuesday and Wednesday because I missed last uh, Saturday and Sunday due to the Final Fantasy VI video. Uh, I'm just going to say right now because I've put more priorities on my YouTube stuff for this year. Uh, there are going to be times where, you know, the stream schedule is going to be really wonky despite the new schedule. And I do apologize for that, but I did make it clear that, you know, YouTube is getting the priority this time. Uh, and uh, the only sort of heads up I can say now just to get this out of the way is that April in particular is going to be really fucky because there are a lot of things happening in April uh, outside of Twitch and YouTube. One thing is I know uh, Elliot, my brother Elliot, is getting married in uh, April and that wedding, obviously, I'm making the time for it <laughs> and YouTube and Twitch won't exist in my memory uh, during that time. So. That is, uh, that, that's what's happening. Uh, so, where was I going with this? Right. Uh, file number one. Yeah, hold on one second. Here we go. Yeah, how dare I sit in a time? Is there an official announcement of the wedding date? No, I just know it's in April. But I'll leave that uh, up to them. That sort of thing, so. Yeah, I'm hoping the wedding is cool too. Because they because they got they got they got engaged a while ago. Like uh, they got engaged like 2 years ago, 3 years ago. I don't remember exactly what happened. I know what happened live on Twitch. I'm not sure if it was saved as a clip. Yeah, and I think the wedding was supposed to happen earlier, but then uh COVID happened. And that just kind of put a uh, damper on things, but I, I believe tentatively the wedding is going to be happening in April, and I gotta make time for that. So, that is what's happening in my neck of the woods. <laughs> but in the meantime, we're going to continue on with more Metroid Other M goodness. And just blow the fuck out of here, because remember we're going towards... Am I even going the right way? No, I'm not even going the right way. China's gonna get a news that Ellie's having a child. Jesus, hey man, like I don't sit. Look, I'm, I don't think I'm getting too personal when I'm saying that. I don't really plan on ever having kids. Uh, I just don't see myself being a good father. I think I'm just too much of a selfish dipshit to really care for a kid, uh, and I don't want to bring a life into this world that I just know for a fact I'm going to be terrible at raising. <laughs> Uh, however, I have no problem being an uncle. You know, so if, uh, if Ellie wants to have kids, if Mark wants to have kids, anybody else wants to have kids, you know, no, that's no problem with me. But uh, I myself don't really ever see myself having kids. Uh, 
Uh, uh, uh, uh, uh, uh, now you can be Greg. You see, I'm already kind of the Uncle Greg to my two cousins. I haven't seen them in a bit, though, so I have to go visit them when I go to Philly later this year. Oh, one second. Uh, let me see here. Good question. There we go. All right, they should be able to hear you now. There we go. Now we can be it. Mm. Don't run now towards we're me. You on your own mic. Say what? We're getting an audio feedback on your mic. Oh, really weird. Uh, one second. Let me pause the game. Audio feedback on my mic? Yeah, I can hear myself through yours. It's uh, slightly dead, but not anywhere as bad as it was. I didn't hear anything. Can you say it again? Testing? Yeah, I can hear you. What are you guys hearing? Um, that what? seems faint enough now, so it shouldn't be an issue. I was oh, only hearing okay. it on the Discord side. I should... Oh, uh, it's probably because I had the Discord audio channel separated. And it's technically getting <laughs> fed through my mic, so it might be why you'd be able to hear it twice. Yeah, it was double backing on itself. Uh, but it seems to be gone now? Yep. Okay. That's oh, yeah. cool. All right. All right. All right. Hello, chat. Do you how do? <laughs> no, I didn't want to. I didn't want to do a. Hold on, fucking. I gotta remember that it's not holding the B button that puts me in first person mode. It's just switching the controller. You are Is getting this awful supposed close. to be uh, Ridley. No, it's just the weird plant draft thing. Because uh, the head thing kind of looks similar. Uh, yeah, uh, in a way, sure. Let's go roll over here. I, don't, I normally don't let this dude get this close to me, but whatever, if it lets me kill it faster, because I sure just am pointing and shooting this thing with the uh, fucking missiles. That's all there is to this guy. Me? Uh, well, I learned my hands are doubly fucked, but that's about it. Oh boy, turning around. Uh, I can't hope to hit him now, except I just did and he's dead. Would you believe the same problem affecting my spine is also affecting my hands? It's great. Is it nerves? As in, uh, like, nerve endings and shit. I like, like nerve that. endings and the fact that the ligaments are being used and not the muscles again. Yeah. Because we did the whole uh, grip strength thing this week. On the US system, it's supposed to average 80. Mine is in the single digits. Single digits? That sounds like, uh, uh, well, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not gonna pretend I know what the fucking terminology is. Uh, for average, that means a 12 year old has a better strength than I do in terms oh, of grip. Fair. Well, they just gotta have to show that 12 year old what for. <laughs> yeah, by cheating. You wanna fucking grip? Uh, Mr. Paul, thank you for the bets. Congratulations on your PS, uh, P4, I uh, put that as PS4. <laughs> P4S clear job. Thank you, Mr. Paul. Much appreciated. Yeah, we did that earlier this week. And it feels good. I'm um, hoping that we can just spend the Tuesdays now just getting our reclairs and not having to stretch that up, up upon two days. Oh, like, no. We were, like, we were hoping. Oh, someone died. Anyway. <laughs> Hacking man. What happened to you? A body has been discovered. All right, now we start the class trial. Wait, wrong series. Hmm. Are you smiling? <laughs> oh no! And print and screen. <laughs> <laughs> Save for later. Add Time to, to reverse blockchain. image search. Find uh, them on. What is this? Hello. Uh, we just leave this one here, don't we? Do you guys know Jim, or does Jim know you? I have no idea who the hell Jim is. Excel charge. Uh, makes you go faster. I mean, I, I appreciate all the Excel charges because I my, my mind is kind of like a uh, fucking wired to think that my Excel charge is always at max, which is why sometimes you'll see me playing the game where I will start charging up a beam, but let it go prematurely and I just cancel the entire thing because I'm used to having max Excel charge. I mean, I might as well be seeing this game again brand new because it's been long enough. Oh man, we're going to fight the Zamboni soon. Oh, uh, remind me. I'm gonna see if I can get these items now. Or am I gonna automatically switch to the stealth mode? 
when I get close enough. Yeah, I think it, it automatically happens here, does it? Oh, is this the whole, like, forklift chasing sequence? There's, the, we fight the Zamboni, basically. But there are items on top of these containers that I don't think I can get until after the boss fight. But I think that's only if I can make the jump or some other shit, or I gotta wait until I get space jump. Or yeah, yeah Dread has really fast charge beams too. Oh, you know why we're here? Yeah, we came to call collect. Where's our twenty bucks, motherfucker? Uh, do they count in no, bucks in understand. the world of? Uh, no, wait, hold on. It'd be credits, probably. It'd be credits. I think it'd be credits. Yeah. I uh, twenty bucks, twenty credits. Pay the fuck up. Whatever. You still owe me twenty of it. Uh, Basha, thank you for the uh for the view. First time chat. Hello, hello to you as well. Thank you for tuning in. How can I trust you? When uh, Sprite, thank you for the bit. Speaking of hacker man, I got hacked on Discord twice. I've been hearing that going through a lot. And um, do we know like the safety precautions to do against that? Uh, don't click links from people. Yeah, I mean that's the most obvious one. I would say also enable two-factor authentication just in case uh, on your Discord. I mean you should be doing that for everything you have anyway. I mean, two factors not absolutely watertight, but it's decent enough, I guess. Uh, actually, I'm thinking for the uh, tier two one. I, one. I hope everything's going better on your end, by the way. And uh, Proto, thank you for the bits. I remember playing this game. I kept freezing at a certain spot in the game when I had to go to game so I had to get a new disc. Uh, the only time I ever really had, well, the only time I can immediately think of when I had an issue with the disc was Metal Gear Solid, the original copy that I had. It would always get, it would always freeze after the President Baker fight. Well, not the President Baker fight, the fucking first Revolver Ocelot fight. Was it scratched? I think it was just scratched, yeah. Because I've had that issue with um, Greatest Hits PS1 games where they just stop working. Yeah. Even if the laser mechanism still. I remember like. Simple. If I put it on a PS2, it enabled a uh, faster driver speed or something, like faster load driver, whatever it was. Yeah. Um, fast disk reading. Faster, yeah, it, that would fix it for some reason. That's unusual. It's a Zamboni! Well. Uh, oh no, it's Robot Wars. We're literally shooting this thing until its core erupts, and then we can actually lethal strike that core, which is pretty cool. If we can do it. Fucking Divine Judgment, motherfucker. Because, let me think. Uh, Legend of Dragoon Disc 1 stopped working for us, unless I put the system upside down. That's weird. And this is the thing, I had to do it in multiple PS1s, so it had to be the disc. And Chrono Cross Disc 2 at the very start of that, that also died. This fight is literally just sense move out of the Dis way and shoot sharp. Shoot Despite sharp. being sealed at the time, and untouched by anyone else. Just stop working on us. I was unamused. I had to look into it, and uh, apparently my own research is now one of the top Google things, so go figure that, I guess. <laughs> it just turns out that the um, Greatest Hits re-releases use lower quality discs, so it's more prone to bit rot. And just, you know, poor pressing. Because they re-released Chrono Cross physically, surprisingly, in 2008 and 2009. That late? Yup. For, for that reason? Because of the issue? No, just for some reason. For just Square some reason? Made another physical run of a lot of Maybe PS1 because of the DS version time. of Chrono Trigger, yeah. Would've been nice if they did a European release, but you know, I'm asking too fucking much for that, apparently. I mean, nowadays, it's not an issue if I want to play a PS1 game, and you just go, haha, SD card and PS1 go room. <laughs> Did I do it? Uh-oh. Eh, uh, shit, I don't have to drop a stick shift. <laughs> it's on manual! Jade, stop this crazy thing! <laughs> Yeah, you can end this fight earlier by doing a lethal strike on top of the core. Well, I've got an easy way to end this fight super early. It's called pressing the home button. Yeah, I was going to say playing. Menu. It's called playing something else. <laughs> you know, maybe we should go investigate the driver cab, see who's, uh, you know, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe. And no wonder. Ah uh, yes, to those from the bottle ship. I had to emphasize it because it's full caps. <laughs> the same as speaking dread, yes, though only in Chozo and Screaming. <laughs> I 
had to agree with her. She accidentally had her armor speaker on mute without realizing she's talking constantly and there's no one can hear her. There is no worse feeling in the world in Discord than not realizing your mic has been on mute the entire time and you think everybody in your circle is ignoring you. It appears to be hiding in Sector 3 now. Take the elevator or because you accidentally leave your mic muted and suddenly two hours have disappeared and as it turns out you've just zonked out. Run into that thing, hit it with your plasma beam. You've got to take it down. Hit it with your plasma beam, but I'm not authorizing plasma beam usage yet. I don't think that's what's happening here. No. Uh, you're not gonna let us have that? You just asked Oh, did you say Among Us? I was wondering why chat was breaking into Among Us. <laughs> you said the thing. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Let me get a good look, because I know, like, the items that I'm looking for are, like, on top of these containers right here, and I don't think I can get any of them just yet. Because I think no, what I have to do is I have to come back here from the other side again, which I don't think is possible. Uh, at no, the it looks like they've walled it off pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, cause there's one right there. But I literally can't get it now. All right. Unfortunately, we're going to have to wait. No, I mean, if we set up Gecko OS, we could get it early using Moon Jump, no, but that's that, it. That's cheating. Oh, John, the apostle and the ravioli. Oh, mama me, people won't get this yet. No, 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 not yet. I'll keep my, my mouth shut, though. Ah, the past. Ah, the ravioli. I don't think you're going to Oh, right mama me. The Federation is sus. Creatures, crafted into killers, running free. I can't wait for Adam to just suddenly pause and just go, terrible job, super shit. <laughs> and then here came Adam and the others. At this rate, the plan the Federation wanted to keep so secret would be revealed. So Marv is a DK commentary. No, that'd be that'd be that'd be a fun little distraction, but I don't know if anybody I mean I have no problem recording Donkey Kong 94. That's a fucking great well game. Marv versus Donkey Kong on the GBA project. is pretty much a you know, just an updated Anthony, 94, but it doesn't have the, the same amount of charm to it, that's the word I'm looking trailer? for. Until I found out well, I mean, it was like a decade difference, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like uh, mostly early GBA or uh, mid GBA release. I mean, the GBA didn't last long; only about four years, kind of. It really well, didn't it wasn't. last very long, did it? Uh, and yeah, it was in development since at least 1995. That's so weird. And could she be the person because, like, what was the what was the uh, life expectancy? Bird. Not life expectancy, but what was the lifespan of Either Game way, Boy to Game Boy to Color? I don't count like about... Game Boy Pocket and like Slim and shit. Like well, let me think. The original DMG was what 1989. Yeah, around that time. Uh, let me think. The Game Boy Color usurped it in I think 98. There you so go. At least April 21st, 1989. Yeah. Succeeded by the Game Boy Color. That was find the data here october 21st 1998 yeah. so about nine years nine years yeah just and then um, the gba was 2001 one. or two 2001 and the ds came out in 2004 yep and the ds lasted until i think just about 2013 2014 yeah oh it technically that. lasted until 2008 but like every the last big title release has stopped 2004 2005 uh, I disagree that I think Mario vs. Donkey Kong has lots of charm, especially the voice clips and cutscenes. To be fair, Santiago, it does give you my favorite Mario voice clip, like of all time. Uh, it's when it's fucking when Mario I think says a bunch of racial slurs in Italian. Uh, it's like when it's it's. Um, I'm trying to think. How do I reference the clip <laughs> exactly? <laughs> I'm trying to think. Any reason the there is a clip that. that there's a clip that Mario says when he gets really angry at Donkey Kong. It's like, yeah, it's like, oh, you mamma mia. Like, he goes into superstar speak. Like, basically, superstar saga speak. Yeah, basically, yeah. It, it, it's it's that one right there. <laughs> and it's like, man, I am i don't think you can say that nowadays, Mario. <laughs> it's like, you're going to get canceled, Mario. Oh, this is where we're, we're getting wave beams soon. All right, so this right here, this is the stupidest fucking sequence of the game. Like, I think so anyway, in terms of, like, progression. If this is what I'm thinking of, if this is the wave beam era, like, area, then we have to, like, go all the way yonder to get to this one glass switch that we can't hit yet. Then we have to backtrack, and then we get ambushed by space pirates, and then we get authorized to use the wave beam, and then we go back to the switch that we couldn't activate before. 
Yeah, I'm in favor of just taking the service left. <laughs> Swears imposter. <laughs> but yeah, the GBA takes its lifespan from Project Atlantis, which was a failed 16-bit um, upgrade to the original Game Boy line. They started back in 95 prototyping. That didn't really go anywhere, ultimately, because it was just too expensive at the time. So they did the Game Boy Color instead, which is basically the same as the base Game Boy, just a beefier CPU. And, you know, you could do color of woo, like maybe 16 extra colors. Oh, okay. Um, We have, there is a missile right above us, I believe, from here. How's it going, guys? Hey, Strang, hey, how's it going? Yeah, good, thanks. Hey, Strang, I learned I hate talk screws this week. Oh, what from? PSP 2000. Oh, I had to open my PS Vader not too long ago, actually. Ugh, was that the battery. Slim or? Slim no, or the, the, original. the original. It had a... Yeah. There's a known problem with Vita where it, um, sometimes it won't read the battery correctly. Oh, and... so you need to reset it. Yeah, it's kind of like if I get back in, but getting to it is a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, do, you have, do you have one using a sculpture tool for that? Yeah, I had to buy a kit to do it. Let's which was fine. Like, it was, it was just... Yeah. Honestly, it was just getting the uh, the two pieces apart. That yeah. was the most difficult part. Actually, getting the, yeah. like the battery out and plugging it back in that was easy. Do you want to know the kicker is? Kicker is string. There's a homebrew tool that does that for you without having to open the system up. I didn't know that. Well, now you do. Never knew that. <laughs> should have should have DM'd us when you were doing it. <laughs> Let's see. I don't, no, I don't I remember just, the I, precise, but I have to jump here. It, it was just a quick Google online. They said just unplug it, plug it back in. I thought, ah, oh, that'd be easy enough to do. Oh wow! Holy shit! For sure. Yeah, because I've. Gotten two visas in the last two weeks. You've gotten two? Yeah, uh, PSP one, sorry, PSP to 1000 white from Japan and a near brand new 3G 1000 model from here. Nice. I mean, like, it's time it's to get it. Unused. Yeah, that's why I picked up. Now, the problem is I was trying to find the PSP SD boards because Christ, they aren't easy to find. I want to the. PSP SD. It swaps out the um, now useless 3G antenna module for internal memory storage. Mm. So all the benefits of the SD2 Vita without having to waste the game card slot. I might do that because mine's a 3G model and it's American, so I could never use it. Well, you might as well do it anyway because the 3G infrastructure <laughs> for US and I think everywhere else is being turned off this year. So it literally has no uses. Fuck, it wasn't even useful back then. Do you know how the biggest file you could download on that thing? Take I know you guess. could only use it for. I know you could only use it for web browsing, really. Oh yeah, it could do web browsing. No one might play, but I said, but it could download files. But guess the limitation they put on it. It's stupid. Oh, I'm guessing. All right, it's probably in a factor of eight. Um, if one thousand twenty-four kilobytes. Oh, well, basically just shot like just over oh. a megabyte. Yeah. Mm, times that by 20. There we go. Yeah, so about 20 megabytes. Okay. Yeah, that was the limit, which even back then that was pathetic. Yeah, here it is. All right, so this switch we literally can't activate because we don't have wave beam. I mean, we do have wave beam, but we don't have wave beam. If we look at it, nothing's happening. Can't shoot it. No Can optimization. We just kick the fucking glass in and just shoot the no. damn thing. No, that's ridiculous. I'm just gonna go into more ball here. <laughs> Uh, it's because I need to um, replace the screen on this uh, Final Fantasy VII PSP 2000 from Japan. The problem is, though, I was expecting nothing but Phillips head screws. Japan decided, you know what, fuck you, you're getting two T1 screws instead for one bit. <laughs> it's like, that's a T1, fuck, I don't have that head bit. And not many places manufacture one that small. I guess this energy so, tank is also missable, but it's in right in your path, how could you miss it? Yeah, you would have to deliberately ignore it. To miss this one, and now we're gonna get ambushed by space pirates. The well, Zebesians. Memory to my first. Yeah, that's the SD2 Vita. They're like maybe a few bucks tops. I've Both got one PS somewhere. Yeah, I've got like one on mine. I need to get a few for. I need to get one for the 1000 Japanese unit and the PSTV. But for the 3G, I, I want the PSP SD. I mean, for the Vita TV, you can use the hard drive. That's what I've done. Uh, I could, but I'd rather use that USB slot for a game controller. You need a permeating shot uh, you just, you just, I'm you to it's a bit of a pain in the ass, but you just, plug, you just plug it, you just unplug it, plug your controller into charging, and then when it's all good charge, just unplug it, plug your hard drive in. Just so fucking done with this dude. Sam has okay. had to be told. Oh, there you go, you There you go, back. Sam has had to be told to do that. 
because I noticed on the screen for this limited edition unit, the, uh, it's damaged basically, broken scan wise. I'm noticing the uh, flexi circuit directly on top of that screen is also giving some concerning noises, so I'm having to replace that as well. I think I, I don't unlock all PSP screens, but I didn't think it'd be too bad. It just happens sometimes with the 1000 and 2000. They just die for some reason. Usually just would... resetting the ribbon connector is fine enough, but if it's as bad as it is on this one, it's better to just replace the whole body thing. Yeah, and what I mean, sorry, what I mean is I don't think you'd find a replacement. I was just, if I'm doing PSP hardware modding while I'm here, I might as well replace the screen on my Go, give it a new battery, and get it that um, internal memory adapter Fonzie got a while back. So I could just use SD cards. Granted, I'm yeah, stuck to 128 gigabyte, but 128 gigabyte for a PSP is more than enough. No, no. no. If there are a couple of vent holes here that you're not supposed to fall through, and it's just a trap. Just a, it's a oh, gotcha just... hole. Yep. Nasty that's not trap. too bad. I can see you can kind of see through the mesh to see if it's. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, like, but it's like in a game where you're also like exploring things to get items. You're not sure of, like there's something below there. It's not it's just a hill. Just disappointment. Yeah, just absolutely disappointment. Did you join the Discord server? You switch Prime. I think it it, it counts. It counts any sort of sub. So if your if your sub be a Twitch Prime or just a regular tier one sub, then it's fine. You just need to be a sub. Because once I've done this PSP hardbox stuff, I'm going to replace the um, DSI touchscreen because that's got a nasty gash in it. I'm hoping it's just the touchscreen. Um, digitize it above it and not the actual screen. Maybe check the L and R buttons just in I case. I think if you want to buy one, though, you automatically get both. So. It might just oh, yeah. be worth replacing both. Uh, you can get a digitizer separately. I've not found um, bottom screens for the normal size DSi yet, unless it's the exact same dimensions as the top screen of the DSi, in which case that should be easy enough to replace. What and, is uh, Metroid? Metroid is a bioorganic life form that can drain the energy of anything it latches onto. Just latches onto your face like a face hooker and uh, hits the suck button. All right. I might die to this. I reckon you'll be fine. You've got the whole super de duper concentration mode thing. Oh, no, it's this. Um, quick, yeah, Samus fi quick Samus, find the nearest baby polar bear. While I play some inappropriately cartoonish music. And that's apparently where the missile expansion becomes missable? I'm guessing it was that. You can't go back in. Because there. You can't, I mean, this is a grapple yeah. beam. Yeah, you can get back up there. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. I don't see any issues. Yeah. I have, I have yeah. not played this game in about a decade. Yeah, <laughs> same. <laughs> like, I got it for the Christmas the year it came out, and I have not played it since. God, I had it before it officially came out, because it arrived here, like, for nearly three, four days early. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to rip this to my fucking USB drive, because, like, hell, I'm stuck with a fucking dual layer disc. I remember not liking this part. Uh, it screams pain in the arse to me. Have you finished up your PS2 by the way, experiment, or is it still you're still working on that? PS2? Oh, that's done. That's done. Yeah. Like the fat hard drive's been completely redone. Uh, I did try to stick a one terabyte in SD card into the slim. It didn't like it. The funny thing is, have you heard about the new retro NAS thing they've got out? Um, you mean the MSXIO thing? No, no, so there's a new thing out called retro NAS, and it's just a, um, you just put a Raspberry Pi to a hard drive and set it up correctly. Oh, and isn't that where it's attached storage? Yeah, and you can use it as a NAS, and it works with, like, the PS2 as one of the Yeah, options. that would, that would work for anything that supports NAS. Yeah, but, um... Oh, it does. Like, I know Mitsubishi also works for Mitsubishi. It's, it's designed uh, primarily for, like, um, retro games. And I know, like, PS2, Mr. Um, I think Xbox, and I think they're working on GameCube. Um, um could work on GameCube, or good luck finding a warband adapter. Yeah. What's the problem? But it basically oh. says it's like a normal hard drive. You know, it's a lot easier than putting it in your PS2. I'd say it's fascinating, like just like hearing the conversation in bits and pieces, like and most of it's going through one ear and out the other. 
And I'm just hearing like, raspberry pies and gigabytes. <laughs> like, the interesting thing getting a little hungry. I'm looking at the PS2 right now is a special adapter now that uses the memory card slot. I've seen that. I've seen that, yes. It's still in prototype stages. I've seen game compatibility. It's pretty good. It's better than USB, but still not as good as hard drive from my bad. Not as good as hard drive, but for models that don't support the hard drive, it's as good as you're going to get. And I reckon in yeah, terms exactly. of accessibility, it's the best thing that the S2 has had in years. Yeah. This well, then, like, I reckon the NAS is the way to do it now. I'm always reminded of Metal Gear Solid when I get to this bar, like, getting riding along, I saw it, and get ambushed by soldiers. Oh, yeah, with the invisi things. Yeah. Too late, Samus. Now die. <laughs> One of those forced encounter things. I mean, my idea would be to just fucking kick them in the chest and send them flying over the edge, but that's me personally. If it was death, if I could do that. <laughs> oh, definitely pass that as one of your um, default attacks is just boot person in face. It works. Hey, I don't make the rules. Cliff edges. <laughs> and it was just you gave me a boot to the head as a default attacking option. Big mistake. <laughs> Hey. The, the, the game keep loading with NAS, you'd have to do that via Swiss, and Swiss is pretty much an enigma in and of itself. Uh, the problem, so the problem, they, they said they're looking into it, but they know that compatibility won't be fantastic because the bus. Ah, uh, the XC bus. It's not. It's not for the for the mode for the uh, where you plug the mode. It's not fast, wide enough, fast enough for perfect compatibility. No, it's but using that's um, why it's experimental at this point. It's using what's called the EXI bus. It's the main IO bus for um, GameCube and Wii. Oh, you! Yeah. Oh, okay. We're already fighting you. All right, interesting. Ow, ow, ow. The funny thing is, is that they've gotten like perfect in the full speed compatibility just using that same bus with an SD card adapter through the memory card slot, which is the same bus that Broadband adapter is running on. That's why um, SP2 SD works. It's running on that same bus. Yeah. You just gotta be very aggressive with the patching to speed things up. Like, you could use high speed port 1, but the problem is, everyone who would want that is gonna have a gameplay player attached to that. Yeah, but I've always, I've always thought it's a matter of time before someone kinda makes a split us switch switcher for that. But what if you wanna access, you know, both at the same time? I don't think you'd ever need to access both a NAS and um, the Game Boy at the same time. I don't think it'd ever be a case for that because you can't you can't load GBA ROMs onto it besides from a uh, flash card. So you just if you want to play GBA games, you just load up the GBA player. If you want to uh, just load it from a NAS, you load up the area. NAS version of it instead. Ideally, we could go for just a GC loader, but unfortunately, they're. Um pretty in short supply still because of the uh, worldwide chip shorts just There's something we yeah. need to drain here what are we looking for we're looking for uh... we're looking to we can drain these canisters here here we go ah yep yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. hold there uh... at least you can finally play gamecube games on the go i've been playing gamecube games on the go for a while i can do it on my switch I don't think HD Remake is the word to use, uh, Marty Man 641, because I think the game still looks great. Honestly, it's not even a matter of the graphics, it's just a matter of, you know, making the, a different control scheme. That's the problem, it's the controls that need. Are you playing on, this is Wii U, yeah? Yes. Yeah, this is Wii U. Yeah. I think it's also just, well, I think for both people it's also accessibility, because it's, I mean, it's easier just to buy your Switch and the buy a Wii, and then get all your converters and everything to make it look good. And you can buy a Wii U, but like the Wii U's gonna get harder to find as time goes on. How long before the Wii U starts skyrocketing in prices? I'd give it another three years. Yeah. It happens it usually happens at the end of it of the next gen, because that's when people get nostalgic. Yeah. It's usually a ten to fifteen year time window. Like it's already happening now for um launch PS3s. You'll, you'll start hearing two years from now on Twitter, like, um, the Wii U was better than the Switch. Don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> and, then, and then it'll start skyrocketing. <laughs> so. This elevator is bound for the main sector. 
Did it say the to... main sector or a main sector? It just said the main the sector. The main sector. Okay, I thought the voice said a main sector. I mean, I wouldn't expect, you know, for subtitles in this game to be absolutely flawless. Uh, since you're back up here, there's one missile tank here that if you put off, put it off till post game, you can't get it until after Fantoon. Are we talking the main sector itself, uh, game man? Because I know the game is telling us to go to sector. I think it's one. No, we're going to sector three. Um, uh, can we even? Leave? Yeah, we can leave. There's there's one. Uh, main sector. Uh, let me see. Maybe maybe I can find out which one. It's not marked on the map though. Uh, I am curious. Ow. I think that's not the one. This is main sector, is it? Main it's sector, yeah. Area. Also, there's a wave beam switch if you want. Oh, I think that lets us get to the Excel charge. Oh, we can do that, yeah. Yeah, we might as well do some cleanup before we get to second third, because we're, we're, believe it or not, we're almost at the Ridley fight. I don't remember this game being particularly long. It's really not. Seen. It's like, it's less than like eight hours. Yeah. Is the hallways next to Adam's control center, wherever that is. Uh, I don't really watch any Spanish language channels, uh, Sonic fans. Most of the time with my fucking uh, family, on uh, my mother's side was watching uh, Univision. That was on them, not really on me. That sounds like a soap opera. It was a lot of novelas. And uh, Sabado uh. Gigante. No, I didn't mind Sabado Gigante because it was loud. And it stimulated my mind, I guess. But I didn't watch a lot of Spanish television because I didn't speak Spanish. So I didn't understand what was happening. Is the hallway next to Adam's room? Really? Th wait, this hallway? You can always look on the map itself rather than trying to second guess it. That was like a hole there or something, wasn't there? Oh, I would have gotten it already, though. Like, this one I'm pretty sure I already got. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know the other one by the elevator. Uh, okay, we can try there now. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I already got that one. Uh, this hallway? I'm trying to see. There's a, a vent that I can go through. Is this a power bomb door around here somewhere? Well, that's a power bomb. Well, obviously, we can't do that until post game, but... Uh, I'm trying to think where there would be something here. The elevator next room. Up uh, the elevator next room, okay. And we can't get this until... Pa oh, yeah, because this place is going to be destroyed uh, when we get to the Phantom part of the game. And then it's the next room, I think he said. Gonna... Oh, is this above the... Okay, I think I know exactly where it's at. Uh, one second. Oh, is this the... We need, we need a speed booster, yeah. Yeah. It's either that one or it's this one. I gotta kill the enemies right there. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Wait, those enemies are coming from a hive, so there's probably a hive. I think that's how it works. Yeah. Alright. Oh, wait, don't even need to speed. We can just kick jump over there, can't we? Yeah, yeah, So other room is gonna have just two more streams. Not fucking no. I don't know because cleanup is gonna take a while. There we go. That was missing. All right. Yeah, because this entire area is blocked off before we get to Fantoon. So yeah, you really do have to wait until you get to Fantoon. All right. All right. I appreciate the heads up. Thank you. All right, anyway, let's continue on. Let's go get that Excel charge, because I do not mind more Excel charge. How much stuff is there to collect in this game compared to the other games? There's actually a lot. There are a lot of items in this game that you don't need. Like, if you're just playing the game normally without even really looking for shit, you'll finish this game with like 30% items. Because most of the items in this are like fragments to actually count towards self forgive memory serves. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I do appreciate that they tried to go and make new upgrades to this game, like the Excel Charge. The Excel Charge is fine. Uh, I, can, I can do it without the energy parts, if I'm being real. I didn't think they were going to need it. Just give me energy tanks. 
Uh, would you? Well, actually, is, would you prefer if they raise your health twenty five each instead of yes. ninety nine? Like end? make it permanent. Like like make it noticeable immediately. Yeah, I think would have been really nice. Hold on a second. I mean, they did that system for uh, Metroid Prime Two, although it went unused. Really? Well, that, that was for Beam Ammo, though. I can see positive news because I, I can understand like you want to see an upgrade currently, but then also like twenty five versus ninety nine is like a lot less of an impact. I think they kind of do that in the hard mode of Zero Mission. Oh, can I not just get this one? Where energy tanks only like count for half on hard mode on that one. Not close enough? I mean, they went directly at it. it just ricocheted up something. Just... This is a lot behind something, isn't it? Maybe you gotta go into like that curved path in front of it, so you gotta be yeah. directly in front of it. No, you see how this, this thing is red. red. It's yeah, it's just bouncing off. off. No, it only works if you stand very close to it. No, if I didn't know. Oh yeah, it's green. So yeah, look up. at that. That's really weird. Why would it? Why would that matter? Sorry. Oh, they, they probably did that to print. They probably did that to prevent chasing from like people being able to find like we're gonna shoot it from your side of the room because we have just the right angle. Ah, the no fun mode dot JPEG, of course. Uh, that doesn't make any sense to me because. The only thing that can penetrate the glass is wave beam, and you don't get wave beam until you get trapped by those space pirates later. There's literally nothing in your arsenal that can penetrate any of those walls because you just don't have access to it. Like you legit just don't have access to it. I don't even think like sequence breaking in this game is possible in any sense of the word. No, they were very careful. Yeah. So careful that if you went the wrong way, you actually stopped progressing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we're good for now. There's nothing that we can. There's nothing that's like locked off permanently until post game. So well, nothing that's important. I really didn't want that Excel charge, which is why we're just gonna go back to sector three now. Yeah, there's no sequence breaking whatsoever in this game. Does anyone know? Like, does anyone know in the speed running whether for glitches or not? If there is a sequence break in that speed run, in any percent. For other M. Yeah. I don't think there would be. I don't think so. I would be I really think. shocked if there was. You have to just, like, go through a wall that you're, like, in, somehow clip through a wall and you're at the final boss. Because I don't like any percent of this game, I think, of, like, three hours? Something to that effect, yeah. Which, like, even for a Metro game, that's long. But, uh... Keep saying I just the cutscenes. So really... well, yeah, you skip the cutscenes in the new game plus, obviously. Oh, can you? Yeah. I thought you were... I thought we couldn't. Okay. Yeah, oh, my God, imagine it. I don't think anybody would be speeding around the game if you couldn't skip cutscenes. Yeah, fair point. It's just like they seem to have recently found um, arbitrary code execution in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Yeah, we were talking about this, I think, like last week. Or the week before. The new one or the old one? Um, the original games, revolving mm. the um, retirement menu for Pal Park. So think about um, executing scripts in a certain sequence, like a third or fourth script, and then they can use the player ID, Pokemon ID, and level to generate a code execution string to basically, you know, credit warp or set Jesus up an account Christ. test. Oh, fucking, the, the, the event system that Fusion utilizes is hilarious because Fusion is so linear uh, in its pathway that even if you found a way to sequence break items or data centers, it would just give you the next item you're supposed to get in the story. So if you were to, like, skip missiles somehow and go to bombs, bombs will give you missiles. God, I'd fuck with your head. Okay, I'm here to get the bomb data. Um, hi, missiles Devin. added to your system. That's not what I asked for. <laughs> I didn't care. No, it's 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 a good <laughs> thing we got red. Hi, um, I ordered the plasma beam. I just got a cup of coffee. Can I get a refund? Fantastic. Uh, I don't know. Fail Maybe fail. It's yeah, fail safe is probably not the word. A fail safe would be okay. This event has happened out of sequence. Deploy a placeholder. Yeah. This is more. We're fairly confident in the sequence of events the player is going to go through. You can just hard code it and call it a day. Yeah, that's probably more like it. Yeah. It was probably like they placed just like 
one object in every the same object in every location it just goes for like a kind of script to go okay you've got this this is what's next on the list i imagine that's all it does is just okay this is the same actor object yeah um, probably was probably what flags have been set for inventory in progress okay these ones have been set load up the next in the chain yeah it was probably just easier for them than the have an individual one but they could they could have done it but there was no they probably thought there was no need to Okay, I barely just made that fucking <laughs> volcano jump. Cool. I don't know if it's made because the water here looks like, I don't know, too cold for what it's supposed to be. Like it's missing something. Ow! Do I have to fight the horseshoe crab? <laughs> Look, you're gonna fight the rejected uh, Digimon and you're gonna like it. Go away, horseshoe crab! Horseshoe crab, no! Ow! I would love to be able to just use missiles to counteract this dipshit, but I can't because it requires me pointing the Wiimote to the screen, and that's slow. Absolutely I'm gonna rip your head off. Need, that's what he's saying is we need tea light straps. This dude is literally moving too fast for my bombs to matter. Fuck you! <laughs> well, thankfully it doesn't do much damage with various suits, so... Hey, Uncle. Hey, Greg. Uh, seems like event item acquisitions are list-based. Yeah, makes me wonder what final items you're missing if you managed to escape earlier items. That is a good question. Also, am I... What do I gotta do here? Do I gotta talk to the panel? Yeah, okay. What's the last item you get in, uh, in Fusion? It's power bombs, isn't it? The last item you get is power bombs. Yes. Yeah, power bombs. In this game, yeah. this. I'm in Fusion. Um, in Fusion? Oh, it's Fusion? The screw attack. Yes, Screw Attack's the last item you get. Although I'm technically, you could. could. Sorry, guys. Although technically, it'd be the ice beam. Okay, okay, but yeah, only, we're being okay. we're being really technical, yes. But only by a mere technicality. Yeah, I'm just I'm Wait, just curious on. if you could get to the end of the game with screw attack, so you could just get one item. But I can't think of like where you. You need screw attack to get out of the area that you're in. I believe. Yeah, they. Did a pretty decent job of making sure you could, you know, only go one way, and you can't exactly go back, Wait, considering the on. way you went back from is I? um oh, cocoa yeah, pops. I mean, obviously. The I guess if there was a way, speedruns would take it. So yeah. yeah. The only way you can really do that kind of thing is if you enable the one wall jump hack. So you can just wall jump on one wall and not two, like fusion requires you to do. Because mm. the second you do that, a lot of secrets breaking suddenly opens up. Unfortunately, uh, there's, there's not much to lead to sequence breaking in Fusion again because of the uh, event system. Hey, uh, Someone was mentioning, like, how does it work with, uh, how does that work with Metroid randomizers? Obviously, I think they had programmed to bypass that. Uh, but I, I hear my Metroid Fusion randomizers are kind of jank at the moment. It's probably still early stages. Yeah. The only big GBA Metroid thing I'm hearing now is the multiplayer stuff. I know, and it's not for the GBA, but I know that for um, AM2R, there is kind of a multiplayer where one person plays the SAS, SAX hunting down Samus. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's fantastic. <laughs> oh, no, apparently it, oh, it's no. amazing. Oh, it is. It gets better. You can have multiple SAXs against the team of Samuses or the other way around. So if you really, really wanted to bring up the dread factor, pun intended. To 11, you could just have one person as Samus and then have like, I don't know, 12, 13 people as the SAX. That sounds pretty Good cool. Luck. Like, I'm glad that game has to continue living on through like fan creations and patches, like after the uh, takedown. Sure, uh, humor me here. Does the Mister have a 3DO or Atari Jaguar core yet? It is a work in progress Jaguar core. Uh, 3DO is possible, but no one has worked on it yet. Uh, you can't run the new um, to the game though. Because we've only just got, like, PS1 is only just becoming a thing now. And Saturn is being worked, is, is also, but we haven't got a public demo for it, uh, like, beta for it yet. So, like, PS1 only just got sound. Yeah, I remember reading that the other week. So, it, it's still got a bit of work, and I, I think uh, people want PS1 and Saturn first before 3DO and Jaguar. I can play the GBA Tomb Raider though. Uh, yes, because it's all going on the same project, because they, mm. those nutcases somehow managed to get the bloody thing running on 3DO with Atari Jaguar. 
Yeah, I was actually playing Anniversary yesterday and the day before. I've been feeling a bit like I wanted to play it again. Oh no, it's generic plant alien thing number seven. Yeah, but it's All the right. same dude, but he's an asshole. Mm. Oops, yeah, I'm looking at it. I think that was the Wii remote. Oh, the Wii remote? <laughs> Trust me, I heard the Wii U disk drive screaming earlier on stream. <laughs> Good job, Anthony. Are you, are you playing this off disk or did you download it from Wii U? Uh, uh, off disk. disk. Yeah. I mean, we could have done a custom VC injection. It's not, it's, well, it's available to buy on the Wii U. Yeah, but. Buying things on the eShop now is a pain in the arse. Yeah. And if you like me, we're on the new Wii U homebrew environment, you can't access the eShop anymore, so... Oh, is it gone, is it for you? Um, because I've gone from Hakushi to Tiara Mizu. Yeah, I've heard, I didn't realise you know, I didn't realise Hakushi to Tiara Mizu. Yo, Anthony, you get like, freeze the dude! I think it's just because, um, the NNM patch hasn't been adapted to work with it yet. Maybe one day. I think we have nearly all of the Wii U stuff done, so it's a good point. I know mm. the European set's complete because I made sure personally that happens. Oh my god. Oh, I think Nora's playing Nora D &D. is. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not playing DD. There's no DD session today. She's laughing at something. It's not like a Tita's laugh. I know, Nora. It's I hilarious. Don't think it's for saving she's doing something else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's probably an RMM. I actually don't need to stop. I just gotta look at the chat. Oh, okay. Nobody. <laughs> She's talking to herself. I don't know what's going on. There's a mystery. <laughs> She's in danger! <laughs> oh no, T just got to. <laughs> oh no, my girlfriend has fallen into the Discord river Ooh. in Lego City. That was ugly. Oops. Thanks, Princess. So you were called out here too? Yes. Called? Commander gave us a new oh my goodness. A unit. Add yourselves. Well, who doesn't know? Oh, here I'm supposed to be. Oh, yeah. No one showed. I figure I'd just take a look around. That's when I got jumped by those things you just saw. Well, what Anthony, maybe it's that? because no one remembers that you, monster. and that's terrible. We're heading to the geothermal power plant to open the magma eruption port. I think this is where we I get the flashback the of Adam's brother Ian, right? Yeah. Who? It seemed a little yeah, really. <laughs> He's the commander. He's he like, this dude you. had family? Could have fooled me. Samus. How you feeling about the commander, huh? Anthony tries to make the relationship mean something worth a damn and then nothing happens afterwards. Someone said family and Vin Diesel didn't pop no, up anywhere. No, it's amazed. like, man, that'd be more interesting than what fucking happens here, because nothing happens <laughs> here. It's like... Again, man, if you really wanted me to sell the relationship between Samus and Adam, they, they should have spent time talking to each other, and they don't. And the only time they do is when he's about to fucking die. You know when all of this could have worked better if this was set before the first game? Yeah, I, I, I so think had me and a guy a lot of people say the that. Actual, the more, you know, actual character development between the two. Have Adam sacrifice actually be worth a damn so time can also pass. And then you can get the whole, oh no, really PTSD out the way. And it's like, okay, yeah, we'll get past that. Okay, that's it. I'm not going to work for the Galactic Federation strictly anymore. I'm going solo. I'll do my zero with mission as this. Oh, look, my first Metroid game. Go Sakamoto, I need a job right now. <laughs> <laughs> job interview complete. <laughs> Ready, go. Adam, I can reach him. Give me the order, please. Lock and secure the shielding doors now. <laughs> LOL, Wait. no. You see, we have a saying in the authority here, so it's, it's called Respect My Authority. Sorry, as soon as I said uh, Commander Malkovich, I just had that vision of John Malkovich. To... <laughs> oh, that would have made this a lot more entertaining. Uh, more mindfucky, though, I think, Toe, too. True, true, yeah. true. We had waited any longer, it would have meant. That's getting me in a while being John Malcolm. That was that was that was tricky. The end of us as well. I knew that, but. Well, uh, Donnie, uh, Samus had a completely different voice actress than uh, Dread. I think it's Dan. Yeah, pretty gay, hasn't it? It was Jennifer Hale Prime. for the Prime series. Oh, yeah, Prime. And uh. You wouldn't be standing. 
Union. Fucking, I see voice actors. Like, it's just grunts. <laughs> grunts and screams. I mean, it still counts by sound. Yeah, yeah, it does, it does. <laughs> and I actually did... Sm what does Smash use? Is Smash use Prime? Or the one to use the other M voice clips? I think it used Prime for Brawl for 4 onwards. I think it's all the M. That makes sense. I believe so. He and deleted my link to the past safe file. Fuck him. <laughs> Adam. 20 exit. The next sequel, Samus will be voiced by Charles Martinet. Yeah. <laughs> He needs some work after losing um, to, um, <laughs> uh, to the Mario movie. Sorry for hitting your nerves. We get oh no, it. it's already. <laughs> Man. No, Chris Pratt. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the planets are going to blow up. Fucking, uh, it's like Anthony's like, remember me? He hits the visor and it goes up and it's Chris Pratt. Like, fuck me, I'm man. Out. I thought I was done with this shit. <laughs> Lifts the visor up, removes the latex mask. Chris. Like, playing oh, the shit. role of Samus will be Chris Pratt and Anthony is Scarlett Johansson. Like <laughs> like, wait, what ha what's happening here? <laughs> Invert. Invert. <laughs> you gotta subvert expectations. I feel, like, I feel like the voice director may have only played the first Metro and didn't realize Samus was a girl. He's like, there's, like, there's nothing more fucking like Eddie Colbeck. Samus is a man <laughs> We got the woe in front of man. Like the prophecy has been fulfilled. Ridley as Jack Black sounds actually good. <laughs> Charlie Day is out of there. We go. I don't that's really a, see the problem with that. We can save at least. <laughs> You're a man. I would be curious though if if the Mario movie does well, if they would actually attempt to make a Metroid movie. Doubt. I doubt too, but. No, nah, Metroid's gonna get a Netflix special. Hi. Zelda's gonna happen before Metro to happen. Yes. That's yeah. special. That's cute. It's gonna get straight to DVD. All of two people will know of its existence. I feel like Metro would be the one where like Nintendo wouldn't want it, but every director that like they get was like, what Nintendo property do you want to work on? Yeah. Zelda or Metroid? Uh there is Sonic the Hedgehog, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> So someone said, uh, Keegan Michael Key is a Chozo. I'm like, okay. <laughs> that's that's a good one. That's a very good one. Where's Mother Brain? Oh my god. Uh, well, the voice of uh, the Audrey question, 2 from uh, Little Shop of Horrors. Who would Jeff oh. Oldman really play though? That's that's what really matters. Uh, oh, it's sad. I think that voice actor passed away like somewhat recently. Oh, the voice of well. Audrey? Yeah. Uh, I forgot who voiced them. I can double check. Uh, not 1960, I oh. need 1986. Jeff Goldblum as Ridley. <laughs> no, we talked about Jack Black as a Ridley. Ah, uh, alright, alright, alright. Uh, let me see. Here we go, Levy stops. Oh wow, he's been gone a long time. Uh, how long are we talking about? Uh, died October 17th, 2008. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a while ago. I thought it was more recent than that. Yeah, we were still in college. <laughs> wow. Holy shit, he was in his 50s when he did that. Jeff Cobham is Crockermeyer. <laughs> Actually, silly me. You're right. Mother Brighton wasn't Captain and We already got the series we needed. <laughs> I used to unironically watch that as a kid. Captain N is a little before my time. I was more familiar with the Mario Brothers Super Show and Mario It was reruns. Yeah. I mean, it was the when same was people. Good. Yeah, yeah. This is the one I actively remember watching as a kid, though, was the Mario cartoons and not Captain N. The only one uh, I remember watching from that era is the one most people don't really talk about, and that's the Adventures of Super Mario Brothers 3. Yeah. I watched. But because it's funny, because, like, the, the Mario World. 3 portion of the cartoon didn't last that long before it transitioned into Mario World. It was only 13 episodes. Yeah, and I think, well, I don't think Mario World lasted that long either. No, I think that was also like only 13 episodes, and even then it was sharing a time slot with Captain N. Weirdly enough, yeah. out of, in terms of production quality, the Mario 3 one seems to be the best. In terms of the animation, it's still not perfect, there's a fuck ton of errors, but between the three. Well, it's like, I think, like, in terms of, like, like animation quality, because, oh, yeah, we're talking about network television cartoons, like... In the late 80s. In the late right? 80s, so... You know, so yeah. string budgets. I think, like, the original Super Show run and 3 had the best budget. 
And then world happened and it got worse. <laughs> yeah, like world is actually pretty bad. Yeah, that was a nosedive. They saw, for some reason, it just looks so much blurrier and washed out in terms of colors. Even the uh, line work. Someone mentioned Donkey Kong. I used to watch Donkey Kong too. Oh, know. the country show? Yeah, I still don't think so. <laughs> still stuck in my hey, head. yo. Look out Look down, at below. down below. Sick guitar riff goes here. <laughs> yeah, the Mario Brothers Super Show was pre three. Yeah, because they had no idea what the hell they were doing back yeah. then. So it was just and you just can't beat the Mario. You can't beat the Mario rap, I would, so I would argue they wouldn't know what they're doing now. Yeah. <laughs> Chris Brown is Mario. Yes, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we need to keep bringing this up. We'll the Mario Brothers the performance our game. We're not let the others win okay. all the fame. Somehow he went from Bob Hoskins, who again, British actor, but okay, I actually love that man. And yeah, I didn't, I didn't mind. I didn't mind Bob Hoskins in the role of Mario. Yeah, uh, I, I didn't mind actually, John Leguizamo as Luigi. I, I actually, yeah, it was actually they were both cast well. I thought it was just the movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like everything else. Yeah, I like Luabano as Mario too. I didn't think he was bad. I didn't think. I didn't, uh, who was Luigi in that one too? Um, D D D D was D something. Danny uh, Wells. Danny Wells, my uncle says. I, I, I didn't mind him as Luigi. Was the movie or is it the TV show? We're the TV show. The TV okay. show. Yeah, Danny Wells. He yeah, was the movie the was uh, the movie was John Leguizamo. And then I think with Mario Brothers 3 onwards, they swapped to a completely different cast. Yeah. Other than, I think, Toad and Peach. Dude, what the fuck? Do you think uh, what happened to Bob Hoskins for how, how many times he almost died on the set of Mario, the Mario movie? Do you think it's going to happen to Chris Pratt? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but now there's going to be more Guardians of the Galaxy music. <laughs> like, at throwing all the skerfuffle and all that sort of shit. Also, strange. I just realized you can tie Super Mario World animated show to the DKC cartoon for one reason only. Diddy Come Kong on. and Yoshi are the same voice actor. Ah, oh, turn. <laughs> no! <laughs> Do you know what the real kicker is? He's a fucking opera singer. Well, I mean, they had songs in Coming on Country, it's a little bit surprising. Yeah, oh, but you can't be DK singing voice. That's just like mysterious top tier out of nowhere. Yeah, <laughs> But I think the last I'll give that, time I'll, I'll that, give that, that dude showed up was in OKKO, OK just out I'll of the give, blue. I'll give that show crap. They actually knew how to make catchy songs in that, in that goddamn show, though. <laughs> I think it was also important from an animation perspective, because I think the first season was the first 3, 3D animated series that was done using motion cap. Um, and then I think it was second season, they switched to more keyframe, which is why it looked mate. a million times worse. Maybe. I know that, I don't think it was the first CG check, I think it was Reboot. Yeah, was Reboot, was, Reboot was the first one, but this was the first one to use motion I kind of like how I, in, I instinctively tried to climb the ladder like a normal human being. <laughs> I just started kick jumping. Oh my god. And then for season two, they swapped from oh, motion capturing for 3D to yeah, that's, the same keyframe system. You used the traditional animation, and they took a nosedive. I ever mentioned Beast Wars in the comments? Uh, that was like my my pre pre get before I went to school childhood show. I never watched Beast Wars. Was that Transformers? Yes. It was like a spin off of Transformers, wasn't it? Like, yeah, yeah, it, was, it, was still, like that. it was still Optimus and, and Megatron, but they were all you know crash landed on prehistoric Earth and yeah yeah it was all. It was, oh, is that the premise? Like they landed in prehistoric times. Yeah. It's like Optimus, I think it's like Optimus Primal, and so I can't remember what they call it. It might have just been there. It's, been, it's been a while. But... I think our old one was Super Mario Bros. 3, and the original one of Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. We actually used to get up at 4 in the fucking morning to watch those. My go-to example is always the Harmony Gold dub of Dragon Ball. Oh, um, Because God. that was, that had, like... I, yeah, kids are up at five in the morning. <laughs> so, <their time laughs> slot sort of thing. 
Do I need to bring up the original opening fucking Harmony Gold diff for that show? That Wait, it's this really up. cheesy fucking 80s opening. Beast Wars was okay, but the last season was fire. Probably because the Meteor landed at that time and everything was engulfed in flames. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Plus, it took like, didn't it take like four years to get beyond the first season of Beast Wars? I what? feel like it's. <laughs> They just kept shiri running it for like a while, and then finally they started showing more of it, if I recall correctly. A Mega Man anime? Or do you mean that original Mega Man OVA from the 80s? The Ruby Spears one? No, there was a different one. There was a different oh. Mega Man cartoon? Yeah, it was Japan only. It was an OVA. Oh, of course it was Japan only. <laughs> By the way, I, I ordered I ordered two shirts online, and they're both Mega Man themed, and they they came yesterday. I'm so excited. Oh, okay, that's cool. Oh, we have, we have to shoot this thing with missiles, actually. Um, one second. Uh, is this it? Mega Man upon a star. When was this? Mega Man upon. <laughs> that's what the. Apparently oh, that the... was the Christmas thing, wasn't it? I maybe it's. There a was a there was a series of edutainment Mega Man cartoons that were Japan only, and I think it was just, it was to teach uh, little kids about. Uh, Japanese culture. Is that Maybe what we're talking I'm, about? I'm looking through the um, synopsis here. In the early 1990s, blah, 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 playing Mega Man 5, forgets to turn his bloody console off because he's a little shit. Uh, whole game world to thingy transition. Uh, Yugi's Papa takes Mega Man to Tokyo, search with Dr. Willie. And there's one a giant machine called Samurai Man. Blah, 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 Dr. Willie. Like yeah, it. here you go. Meanwhile, they learn about Japanese culture and customs such as New Year's, Setsubun, Hina Matsuri, and Children's Day. Joy. Turns out Dr. Wille brought a 60 brought and built a secret base inside Mount Fuji. Of course. <laughs> yeah, could have built that in any other fucking mountain. Nah, nah, Fuji mate. It's something, something Sigma made everyone racist and shit. <laughs> 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 I don't remember this X game. It was three episodes? Okay. Appearance in Japan, Wishing Upon a Star, Future Beware. One in 1993, the rest were in 1994. Uh, let's see, who's the English cast? Uh, Gregory Smith. Who only voiced Mega Man for one episode. It was Christopher Gray for episodes two and three. Oh dear. Scott McNeil? Was Dr. Wily? Scott Ooh. McNeil, really? Yup. Oh, this is the Mega Man show, is it? The Mega Man um, Edutainment OVA, yeah. Uh, Brandon O'Bray and Sean R. Amsing was Yuta Kobayashi, so, okay, OC character. OC character, Wait. OC character, OC character. Kelly Sheridan, Kathleen Barr, Kathy Westlock, and Campbell Chris Wayne. Pratt, son of a bitch. Campbell Oops. Wayne, Jim Burns, Andrea Lipman. Cash Eric Erickson, Terry Clarkson, Paul Dobson, Scott McNeil. And Bronson Pinshot as Mega Man. <laughs> <laughs> and there is a addendum at the bottom. Additional voices by Brent Chapman and David Kay. Bonus points if anyone in chat knows who I'm talking about. And David Kay is... Oh shit, he's fucking Megatron. Okay, interesting. Are we still talking about the Mega Man cartoon? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just went through the full list. Almost, I remember it. Yeah. <laughs> Small world. Well, you know, I used to watch Skewers of Sonic. The, uh, the, the, not the adventures, the actual, the, the other one, I think. Is that Sasai M? That's correct, yeah. by the way, the Man of Hero. Perfect Strangers, correct. He played Balky. I don't think we got Sasai M here in the UK until the 2000s. You guys got Sonic Underground, though. Yeah, Don't mind us. I mean, looking back, I'm glad I didn't fucking get that. Too, but... I <laughs> have a DVD of Sonic on the somewhere. somewhere and you else. haven't tossed that thing into the <laughs> Outback. I am disappointed. The Outback handed it back to me and said they didn't want it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It was well, even Mother well. Nature doesn't fucking want it. I was like, well, it. like, this world wasn't <laughs> very good, sir. <laughs> Russell's confused. And he, and he went to the Outback Steakhouse and was just like, wait, what? what's going what on? How did I, I get Sonic here? Sonic on the ground <laughs> vacation to the UK in 2006. You must have been watching it on the Pop Channel, then, because that would have been the time it was on that. Yes, there's an Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> yes, it's a restaurant. Uh, well, actually, I was genuinely upset that they never finished that series as a kid. Which one? Underground. Because their mother was never found. 
Oh. <laughs> well, I guess you don't know. Sonic <laughs> Underground. Okay. But, but Strange, don't worry. 20 years later, we did find her in a shallow grave in the desert. <laughs> we didn't say it'd have to be a fun ending. Oh, well, fuck. Hold on. Okay, just run. We never got, I never got adventures though. Adventures never came up around here for some reason. Uh, I, like, I see the argument of why like everyone prefers that AM because it has like interesting lore and character building and that sort of shit. And it's like, that, that, that's fair. I didn't mind Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog though either. Probably because like it was just pretty much the same as like Tiny Toons. Like it, it was, it was, it was comical whimsical. Basically yeah, no sort of, different than like a, a Nickelodeon show out there on that time. It, Only it was, it was much something. just, it was pretty much just the same license but going for two completely different interpretations yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. And two two different aged kids. Yeah, like, yeah. Because eventually, Sonic the Hedgehog was like for like the younger audience. The Saturday M was when you're becoming like a tweener. Yeah, exactly. That's then that's exactly when I watched them both. So like yeah. I, I was able to like I was able to appreciate both of those. So when yeah. you wanted to watch PG thirteen movies, but weren't allowed to watch PG thirteen. Yeah. movies. <laughs> the secret of Nim was too. Yeah, much. We, we not, we're not allowed to watch Mortal Kombat, so you have to watch Mortal Kombat. But it's well with the C. Ah yes, the old. We're not going to let you see anything PG plus. Also, our bloody parents. Hey, do you want to see this little animated film? It's called Barefoot Gen. What's the worst <laughs> thing? That? Oh, so John, you mean anything with Steven Seagal in it? Say what? I also you mean like anything with Steven Seagal in it? <laughs> Fuck, man, I don't. Uh, I don't even remember if I watched anything with Steven Seagal in it. Like that wasn't. No, actually, I'm thinking about it. And I can't ever say I've fully watched a Steven Seagal film. Oh, well. No. I say I've said it myself. Like, there's only one thing I immediately think of with Steven Seagal. Uh, and I don't even know what movie it's from. Uh, like, fucking, he was, at a, he was at a bar, and he put a cue ball inside a sock and started beating the shit in people with it. The only thing I really uh, know about Steven Seagal. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, don't, yeah, I don't remember all the names of the movies because they're, they're all basically the exact same plot. So, like, it's kind of. Yeah, <laughs> really... like, it's, it's a Steven Seagal film. Yeah, exactly. Like I don't, it, but like I, I, I definitely watched a bunch of. Them. He was in a bunch of. He was like a side character, at like Broken Arrow, and like under. I think Under Siege, and was a couple he in like Broken ones like that, Arrow? I believe too. But like that was because I've seen Broken Arrow. Was he in Broken Arrow? Yeah, he, wasn't he the the stealth fighter pilot that died? Oh, like I don't, they, they, I don't know. It was like a really. I think it was a really weird cameo. I think it was. Steve he would Cazal. agree to that. I would think he would like fight for a leading role. Uh, Broken Arrow was Kurt Russell. My uncle says. Oh, Kurt mm -hmm. Russell. That's who I'm I was like, Steven Seagal would not be a fucking bit character in a movie like that. Like, he would argue, he'd oh, probably beat somebody with a cue ball in a sock to get lead role. <laughs> so the only information up. I have on Steven Seagal is he's a bit of a kiss-ass for Russia, and he's a fat, lazy bastard these days who can't <laughs> even fucking do a simple judo flip. <laughs> I got a speed boost. And if he has a problem with that, he can come over here to me and speak to me about it. All the doorbell rings. Yeah. <laughs> Pizza's here, and it's Steven Seagal. <laughs> oh, he's here. Okay. Oh, that would be legendary. Leave me alone. I told you not to give you a tip. Finally, will you be the one to end me? Survey so says doubt. <laughs> anyway, you were going to say string before you were interrupted. Oh, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, I was just gonna say like I watched it, like when we were talking about like PG Better, you know, like I remember watching Akira when I was like eleven. Not oh, I, I caught Akira at a young age too. I think I, like I was I was becoming more of a, a tweener, and then I caught Akira for the first time. I didn't understand like half of it though. I just remember Tetsuo. Uh, I, I didn't my friend see... just told me, "Have you heard of anime before?" And I was just like, <laughs> "No." What do you watch? What, what's anime. this with me? I was like, "Okay, this seems like a nice wholesome movie." <laughs> uh, I didn't see Akira until I think 2015 or 2017. Remember Do you guys anime. remember your first anime? Tenchi Moyo. That's not an anime. <laughs> it was the first one I was fucking introduced to. I don't Booty think Pokemon. she understood her timing on that one. <laughs> I mean, honestly, Dragon Ball Z. I know, I know it's like the, that was the first one. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys heard it, but I asked. No, I didn't. What's exactly. your first anime? And Nor Nora's not in the call for whatsoever. She's doing her own thing in her own Discord. With her own buddies, and she just screamed Minecraft like immediately after I asked that. And I don't think she oh, realized shit. the perfect timing no. of that. So I looked it up. It wasn't Broken Arrow, it was Executive Decision. That was the one I was thinking. Which was Steven Seagal? And that Steven also Seagal? had Kurt Russell in it. 
Oh, yeah, so I, sorry, they're both I was looking this up. I was like, he was like, a, I swear he's a big character, like another like movie like that. And I always get those two mixed up because like they both have those stealth jets in them. All right, so uh, Emmy, let me uh, go back to the original question. Your first anime. Do you recall what your first anime was? It could be yes. OVA, it could be a television show. I don't give a fuck. The genre, basically. Excluding Pokemon and the Sonic OVA, because I watched them more because they were video games rather than anime. Yeah. It was Akira. It was Akira. Okay. Yeah. I want to say my earliest anime memory, because I got to think back, because obviously my mind's a little hazy with this sort of shit. It could change on a whim. I want to say my first ever anime experience was Ronin Warriors. Uh, because that was around the time Power Rangers was making the rounds. And I remember seeing these multicolored robotic samurai looking guys. And I remember being enamored by their design. Uh, but somebody, was, somebody said was, Speed Racer. Speed? And I forgot about that one. That's if, I, I saw Speed Racer as a kid, but it wasn't my first anime. I'll say. The, our first two anime would have been Tenchi Moyo and Sailor Moon, the original uh, English dub release. Oh, yeah. I was all over fucking original Sailor Moon, too. And I, because I don't think Dragon Ball got here until 99, 2000, I want to say. I do recall seeing a lot of ads for, like, Oh, do I actually, it was Yu-Gi-Oh the first anime I've seen. Yu-Gi-Oh? Oh. I think it uh, might have been Yu-Gi-Oh, actually. Says, um, Virtual Cosmos Astro Boy. Uncle says Star Blazers. I didn't know what anime was. Yeah, back then I just, a cartoon was a cartoon. I didn't really realize it was a completely different sort of, like, genre of animation. Yu-Gi-Oh in... Uh, oh, Yu-Gi-Oh was uh, 2000, 2001. Must have been Yu-Gi-Oh then. I remember watching it as a, as a kid. I don't have much memory of it, but I do remember watching it. Most of the card game at the time. No, Yu-Gi-Oh actually might have been 2002. At least the English. I'll have a look. Yeah. Because I remember here. like the like Cardo yeah. Network, like our Cardo Network, you had a lot of like, it had the DBZ, it had One Piece, it had Naruto. Uh, Duel Monsters was the first season, right? Yes. Yeah. Duelist King. Uh, yeah. Duelist King. So that was Japan. That was April 2000. Finished April 2001. Uh, I'm looking for the English. Holy fuck, dude. Can you do your missile attack? I cannot. English released. I can't was... damage him other way, right? I'm not fucking high, right? September 29th, 2001. Kids WB. Concluded November 9th, 2002. That was for the US. So I would say for Australia, that was probably 2002, 2003. Actually, it's one thing we were good at because I was actually like, anime was released at the same time as America, so um, yeah, it must it must have been out here here then. Yeah, Tenchi Boy was very tame by most standards, but to be fair, when it came to harems, it was pretty much like the prototypical slash standard setter for all those that came after it, I guess. I think the only reason I took interest in it was just more because of the fucking slapstick rather than the actual <laughs> hot girls thing more than anything. And just because of fucking, what was it? Yoko and Ayaka just going for each other's throats every five minutes. What the fuck? He immediately left the fucking lethal strike pose. Guys, this dude's not fucking dead yet. Dude, he's, he's just not exposing himself. I mean, good, that's illegal, but still. <laughs> I was like, oh boy. <laughs> right, you get fined. Like, this like, oh, what? is he just fucking uh, off now? Off Goodbye. The zipper's coming down, John. Be, be ready. <laughs> Have fun with gravity, I guess. Yeah, someone whoever said Speed Racer, I'm glad you said that. I, I I actually remember watching that when I was very young, a bunch of times. So I've actually probably predated that director, but I didn't realize it was anime at the time. So I suppose Speed Racer just before me, I think. Would Inspector Gadget technically count, considering who it was developed by? I thought Inspector Gadget was Deke, or was it wasn't made uh, out with It was commissioned by Deke, but I think it was done by Toei, generally was... by the same people who did um, Lupin the Third in Japan, animation-wise. Really? That makes a lot of sense looking back at the design of Inspector Gadget, actually. 
Well, I mean, Inspector Gadget was supposed to be like a distant sequel to the loop in the third series. <laughs> well, okay, you're supposed to. We were not, that's not what happened in... Uh... No, uh, the um, the LeBlanc estate sort of threw a hissy fit because uh, Lupin, the Gentleman Thief, was still copywritten under their estate at the time. So the original Japanese makers had to get an exception to that. And they got it. And it was like, okay, maybe we'll, this is going to, we can't do it in the US. Um, let's reimagine the character. We'll do it as Inspector Gadget. They then got in trouble again because Inspector Gadget original design was too similar to a certain inspector from the <laughs> Pink Panther movies. Oops. Those lava bosses look like absolute ass. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, lava in this game just looks like shit. It's too dull. I don't think their enemies have looked that bad. Like, these two look, they look awful. <laughs> so the angle here is fixed. I can't change the camera angle. That sucks. Mm. If only we had these things that could allow us to move things in three and dimensions. And I don't want to go in first person because I get locked. On something Wait. different than just four axes, we can Got call it. them camera it's sticks. Lava. It's beta lava golem. <laughs> You're saying strength? What are you talking about, experiment? There's no such thing. It doesn't exist. Yeah, that one guy who really hated um, Aliens vs. Predators on the PS1 was right all along. <laughs> I get that. Uh, hilarious in hindsight. Oh my god, he used the right analog stick as the camera. This will never work. This will never take off 20 years later. Hi. Holy fuck, like, I've never had this much work, less, this, this kind of luck with this kind of the lava golems. I mean, the funny thing is now is that the whole uh, Lupin copyright thing is null and void because uh, Lupin's now in public domain. The original characters and stories are anyway. Stuck. 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 <laughs> no, it's more like I'm trying to fucking... So I because I don't remember if the, uh... The fucking charge shot will automatically home in, because if I hit the lock-on button, it, shoots, it switches to missiles. And I, I don't want that, because missiles don't do anything unless it's frozen. Stop laughing at me. Too close for missiles. I'm switching my guns. Oh my god. Maybe Blue Dino? I haven't heard of that one in particular yet. <laughs> I can't see anything. That's why I'm, I'm nervous to make the jump. Okay, there we go. Ah, uh, yes, jumping into a camera. I think we have an expression for that. Leap of faith? Leap of fuck. <laughs> One of my okay. favorite early internet videos, Super Mario Frustration. <laughs> oh, that's old. That's very, I, that's my early, early, yeah, one of my favorite early videos. Early YouTube. Yeah, early YouTube. Yeah, okay, that's a good question. Uh, we're talking about earliest anime. Do you guys recall your first YouTube video? Or at least some of the first videos you watched on YouTube? Super Ooh. Metroid ending. Uh, just the Super Metroid ending in general? Yeah, so like the whole Bifutorian, Mother Brain, the escape sequence, the credits, that stuff. I think that... it was AVGN Plumbers Don't Wear Ties. Because a friend showed me it. I think that was the first one I saw. I think the first thing I ever watched on YouTube, realizing it was YouTube, because I don't know, maybe I watched some embedded links uh, back then, I want to say it was Yu Gi Oh! Bridged, like episode one. That, that, is, that is, goes pretty far back. That goes actually. really, yeah, that, that was around, oh, the, yeah. around the beginning of As, YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, probably either like some sort of like Newgrounds flash animation that was ported basically to that, like or like recorded on that. Yeah. Or um, I was really, and I still watch them, but I still I was watching a lot of DDR and ITG videos off YouTube to try to figure out how to do certain things. So probably like an Adam Styles like video or something like that. Oh, dude, wait, hold on a second. That item is below me, but how do I just drop off? Can I? Just Back drop with off. The Unzip your. No, pants. because this thing is kind of automated. Maybe swing back and just walk off. No, I think I'm stuck uh, here. Ah, the new Manuma video. That's a classic too. No, I you can't. Also, you can't speed booster. There's not enough distance to run, uh, game man. I don't think so, anyway. 
No, not enough distance. I guess maybe I gotta wait until space jump. Because I could just jump from here and work my way backwards. And get over the wall that way. I think that's what they want me to do. Man, I still remember the bloody stick figure back up. Battlegrounds and Death Chamber, bloody flash programs on Newgrounds back in days of old. Oh, uh, Newgrounds. That was all I fucking watched. I, in, in I mean, I was with you guys. Yeah, you were with, yeah, you were with me for most of it, yeah. What was your favorite? What were you guys' favorite Newgrounds videos? That I can remember? I don't remember. Yeah. I, I don't used remember to watch a lot of X-World. Uh, fucking... The Decline of Video Games I really liked. Oh, God. Oh, I've God. not heard that name in a long time. Holy um, shit. The cra one. Crab Battle. Crap I mean, out. that's where I discovered Eagle Raptor. Uh, Super Mario Brothers Z is where I. Oh, yeah. That, that was. That, I think that was like the my, my go to Newgrounds favorite. Was just that shit. That was fun. Uh, Bowser's I Kingdom. Yeah, I watched that too. God, what happened that? to Alvin Earth? Uh, I mean, he's Jesus. still out and about. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know. I really don't really follow the guy. Uh, maybe the I don't know. NFTs on him. Oh. <laughs> Decline of video gaming too. Oh yeah, because they were playing bloody Smash Brothers. Like you know what, playing all these video games can't be good for our health. I don't know. We should just go outside. Immediately just cuts to outside with them still playing <laughs> melee. <laughs> the original Smash Flash. They didn't. They didn't realize that was going to become reality with like. <laughs> Bowser's Kingdom predicts the Switch. Or no, the Decline of video games. Oh wait, shit. There's a item here. Where is it? Event? Is it probably it event? I still laugh because every now and then it comes up on like Facebook too, like that crab with like the uh, knife in its hand. I always think of crab battle. Like, it's oh, like, crab battle lives in my head, red free. Oh my god, it's so funny. <laughs> Are you insane? <laughs> a knife is useless against it's those massive, massive claws. claws. They can they rip, rip a tank, tank apart. apart. Jesus, Jesus Christ! Christ. <laughs> it's that Jesus Christ at the end of it that sells it all. Right? <laughs> I don't know why I said that like Doc Brown. But I, didn't <laughs> <know>. <laughs> I don't know why that. Is. <laughs> Still have a stupid old Newgrounds flash videos I remember. Random, pure, and simple was another one, and Metal Gear Toast. I don't remember Metal Gear Toast. Oh, the Star Wars the rap. That wasn't Newgrounds, though. Uh, I remember uh, Uncle, you showed me that one, but I don't think that was in Newgrounds. Uh, that was in, uh, was that was that E-Bomb's World? Or was that a uh, fucking... Oh. Uh, what was it? Uh, fucking Albino Black Sheep? There's a uh, zero wing. Someone, uh, all oh, your base zero. are belong to us. Yeah, that's like us. one of the earliest Newgrounds like yeah, videos I saw because so that was the music. Because here's the thing though, because I thought the meme originated from that video, not realizing that no, that, that meme was already long established before that music video took off. Yeah, because it's like one of the old, old internet memes yeah. from the nineties. I mean, the game is from pretty early on, and yeah, that well, it's makes, it was a, yeah, it was a Genesis game. game. I mean, if I'm going to like old using that IRC channel days, it would have been more like, uh, for, what was it? I remember little programmed intro sequences, taking the piss out of each other, getting death threats on programmers because, oh no, we broke their fucking shitty security. One time when you were a kid. There's one of the ones were like really funny on there. Um, Team Girl Squad. <laughs> well, Homestar Runner was, yeah, that wasn't even Newgrounds though, that was just web That's, tunes. yeah. Yeah. But well, yeah, I did watch a lot of Homestar Runner in college. Yeah. Uh, Jacob was the one, one that introduced me to that one, and then I just kind of watched it myself in my time. Those are funny. I I always I always kind of equate the two of them, Homestar Runner and Newgrounds, because I watched them. Because yeah, because again, we all just watched everything from the internet back then. So. Before there were like billions of options. Yeah. <laughs> Before there even was a Disney Plus. <laughs> oh, Nazo Unleashed, yeah. That was a that was oh, really yeah. that was that was a really neat series. Although it has one of my worst fucking drawn frames in the fucking series. <laughs> well it's not just based off a random frame for an advert for Sonic X. Yeah, it was. Like it was it, you're exactly right. There is in the Sonic X intro, there is a shot of what looks to be some sort of silver esque Sonic that never appears on a show proper. And People were wondering what the hell does that meant? Maybe it was something from an unused season. And then Nozzle Unleashed was made by, I think it was Chakra X was the Chakra name X. of the animator. Uh, and they just made the entire uh, web series based on that image alone. It was pretty cool. 
All right, so you mentioned uh, how bad some of the frames were. Are we talking like keyframes or in betweens? Uh, keyframes, actually, because there is. Uh, so unfortunately, when it comes to Nazo Unleashed, that they're the one shot I always immediately think of because it's so ugly. And I'm not gonna judge too harshly because I myself am terrible at drawing fingers and feet. <laughs> but there is a shot where Super Sonic is has nozzle on the ropes for a second and there's just a close-up of his hand and it looks like dude like that's kielbasa that's not your fingers that's just kielbasa sausages like attached to your limbs it looks ugly and there's so, and like it's zoomed up really close it's like ooh, that looks really bad <laughs> So I thought it would have been uh, the old mittens days of animating on new grounds. Hey, man, I do that to save on time. <laughs> I'm not judging. <laughs> They're called in betweens for a reason. In between smears. There yeah, I, 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 uh, I am a liberal user of smears, in betweens, and like brown balls because again, their in betweens are supposed to be there for like less than a, fr a frame, no more. And this is even when I'm animating, so I'm not even gonna pretend like I'm like animating on a daily basis or some other shit. I was like, but you I never mean, forget. You, you never forget your techniques. For us, if we're doing smear frames, it depends on the kind of energy I want the shot to be in. If it's low energy, I'm just gonna go for it as smooth a frame as possible. If I'm going for speed, nah, it's smear. Uh, I thought I said the Spanish word. What is the Spanish word for pumpkins on Yago? Maybe I've, I don't know. Maybe I know it already. <laughs> Why do all your characters have mittens for hands? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah, how did that jump miss? Because I I'm... have a nine to five. Ain't <laughs> <laughs> no way to make a I'm starving! <laughs> Correct. Wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Am I going the right way? Hold on. I think I was going the right way. Are we going back in ourselves? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, all this area looks like. Oh, Kabaz oh, Kabazia. Oh, uh, wait. No, no, Kalabazia? No. Kalabazia. Kalabazia. No, wait. What the fuck? No, I said Kabaza. Eat some kraut with that, though. <laughs> no, I'm not a fan of sauerkraut, actually. Really? No. It's one of those things that kind of turn me off from uh, the texture. Ah. See, I, I don't just, like, I don't know anyone that just, like, eats sauerkraut. Like, you have to have it with Yeah, yeah sauerkraut like, it's, a, it's an additive. Sauerkraut. Yeah, you don't have to better off dying, John, to get you back to the save point. <laughs> so I think you just... He, he broke the game. No, no. You I, it up. I'm pretty sure I can... The background, I think, is what you were on before. Like, I'm pretty sure I can get back to where I was. Like, originally. Oh my god, this map sucks, dude. Yeah, that's where we're. I, I can't go that way. Yeah, it'd be nice if the map had a fixed north point thing. Just saying. Where the fuck am I? Where the what fuck are any of us in the ground? I mean, there are two pathways. Obviously, there are two pathways. Like, yeah, the one on the background is where you were on originally. Yeah, okay, up. okay. Then I, want, I accidentally went to the other part of Sector 3. This is Dante's Peak, John. That's where you are. Oh, damn it. Oh, you know what's funny? We were talking about that movie. Were you? Weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> what, what a random, I don't what remember. A random it's like, I don't rem it, it was exactly that, Russ. It was a random tangent, and I don't remember exactly what, what brought it up. We were talking about Dante's Peak and Volcano. Oh, we were talking about disaster movies uh, ah. around that time. And it's like, I, those are the ones I vi vividly remember the most. And they came out like a they, very yeah, around the same time. time. Yeah, it was yeah, like it was the like, Deep Impact Armageddon situation. Yes. That was another one I was like, how? Did they just like not talk or was it intended? Or... <laughs> Somebody go, hey, there's an asteroid movie coming out. We gotta beat it. <laughs> also, Batman is the director. <laughs> out there, like, gotta yeah, beat yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, Y2K scare, gotta beat it. <laughs> uh, fucking. Best disaster movie. Best disaster movie. I mean, because they're all. Junk food. Disasters. I mean, yeah, I was <laughs> gonna <disasters>. say, <laughs> get the fuck out of here. What? Uh, Independence Day. Independence, Independence Day. Day? I can see that. I can yeah, see that. I can watch Independence Day. I can't say I've ever seen it. I yeah, it's I, I mean I, I I feel like a lot of everybody who knows me knows like these are like the things I always go to, but like it's just yeah. weird, like that movie. I can quote that movie from start to finish. Does that count, though? I would agree. I would think it does because the part of the spectacle of Independence Day is seeing everything get blown up. 
And those effects hold the fuck up even today. Yeah, they really do. Like, some of it hasn't aged. Like, all the CGI stuff with the aliens, like, the, the space battles, ironically, are the stuff that ages the, the worst. But, like, all the explosions, the miniatures blowing up. Yeah. That sort of thing is, like, that still looks great today. It does. Oh, my God, it does. Well, that scene where, like, the capital's about to be enveloped in flames, and you just kind of see, like, the flame wrap around, and then they yeah. explode. Oh, my God. I think like, that was, like, done was, like, it was a miniature that exploded, and they just slowed it down. I think you're right. Basically, that's how exactly they, they right. achieved that effect. But still, man, it looks really good. It does. Absolutely. I still think today they really over-rely on computer stuff for so much. Uh, it's because it's it's cheaper, basically. I get it. And also, I mean, it's I get it, as much but... time. I think in time, like, when we, I mean, for better or worse, when technology upgrades to the point where we don't really need to use practical effects anymore, then it won't probably be as uh, obvious, but... I think it's because practical effects are not practical, ironically. <laughs> well, Im not from, impractical. Not from, yeah. not from a financial point of view, anyway. Hmm. Well, it but, is cool um, to see something like, hey, this is actually there in front of you. Like, I can't recall many other Death Moves besides the one we're We had Independence Day. We done day the After Tomorrow. Day After, uh, day after Tomorrow was another one. I didn't like Day After Tomorrow. Uh... Although it ended up being, well, because it became a biography. Or <laughs> Give it some time. Uh, fucking 2012, I did not see fully because I was like, eh, what if, who cares? Titanic. Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Godzilla. Uh, 98. 98 Godzilla, yeah. Um, I mean, Matthew Broderick is a disaster. So yeah. I mean, kinda, <laughs> oh, I got I to gotta actually scan this guy. What else, what else was there? Airplane? Um, Hon, are we talking about the spoof? The parody? Volcano and Dante's Peak, I guess you could I don't really count that. Airplane as a disaster movie. It's more of a, I mean, it's a parody of the disaster movie. Yeah, that's... Yeah, definitely not a real disaster movie. Yeah. What other ones were there? Um... But as far as the best, yeah, I'd say I'd say Independence Day. I and I'm a sucker for Armageddon too. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I guess. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Armageddon makes me laugh for the wrong reasons. Uh, but it you can't admit you got you got to admit it makes you laugh. Yeah. <laughs> the point is you laugh. <laughs> yes. One sec here. Ninety-eight Godzilla bores me. Because to me, it was like they were trying to grab the energy of Independence Day, but with a giant lizard that doesn't have as nearly as much stakes. Also, Godzilla is not really Godzilla in that movie. It has Jean Reno, though. Was that the, was that the Western made one? Yes, American that was the yeah. Western uh, yeah. Godzilla. It has Jean Reno, though, and I love Jean Reno. And we're at the moment. Uh, let me go grab my popcorn disappointment. Oh, you have enough time to pop it, too, because this cutscene's long. Well, it's technically it's two cutscenes, because once Anthony finds us, uh, we have to actually scan for the exit. Get out the way. Hey, fuck, can you stop playing on my goddamn eye? Man. My mustache is getting too long. <laughs> we gotta clear out. Where's the exit at? Oh, uh, look for the exit sign. Wait, this it doesn't have one. This ship is illegal. That's Anthony. Well, uh, I'm gonna have to file a thing I with Space Ocean. Um, I think the bottle ship has a few more problems. Yeah. Signs <laughs> being missing in terms of breaking the law. I mean, either way, Space Ocean is gonna have a field day with us. <laughs> hey, this emergency oh, exit's painted on. <laughs> this bottle ship doesn't have a fire escape. Let's Enjoy in. your <laughs> death trap, Ridley! Leave this one to me. Don't waste your plasma. Now, question. Do you have a bathroom available one kilometer between any point of the ship? No? What do I have to blow? Blast the eruption port to get the magma flowing. This game? Use that Wii remote? <laughs> Yeah, my, my, we must go to the mic. That's why. Okay, we got our super missiles unlocked here. Look at this. Look at the missile. <laughs> I don't know why it looks so cheap in this game. 
It looks like something that belongs at one of those like pop up vendors you see. It like looks like one of those. Um, what the fuck is this? One of those like those air pistols. It's like it's like a missile. Nerf gun. Yeah, it's like a Nerf gun. It's Nerf or nothing. Wow, what a sponsorship from Metroid over M, huh? <laughs> yeah, it does so look like one of those foam footballs. How does this help us exactly? Because magma glows and we can see. Now, there's an easier way we can do this. Hear me out. It's called an LED light. What? A flashlight? Get out of here. They're only in the future experiment. They don't have that kind of light. We don't have the light suit anymore. We don't have good storytelling either, but unfortunately, we can't fix that. Yeah. Gotta wait like a decade. We're the bird people. Okay, man, reading the manga was like the best and worst thing I've ever done to myself as a Metroid fan. <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh no, big riddle. He ever officially localized that, or is it still? No, you could, but you can find scanlations right easily. Yeah. Um. Like, cause Samus already gets this moment in the manga, and it's handled so much better there uh, than it is here. And um, God, I, you know, if you can watch my review, I go into it. But this doesn't work the way they want it, given its time frame and the fact that it just kind of ignores everything beforehand. And this is why I'm saying this would have worked better if it was before the fucking first game. Yeah. That this has more of an impact if it was our first time seeing Ridley after uh, parents died. This is when we realized we hated this game. I don't know, the authorization is kind of a... Because <laughs> uh, we had yeah, the authorization yeah. system and the various suit stuff in Sector 3 beforehand, Uncle. Like, that one, that was where I was like, what the fuck is happening in this game? Hey! Hey, Pop! Don't you know how to treat a lady? I don't think he can understand you, Anthony. No Don't point at him, Anthony. Don't you know how to treat a lady? Anthony. I'm a giant fucking space dragon. I don't care. Don't do it. <laughs> it really is an equal opportunity for her. Okay. Speaking of disappointment, Oops. I'm here down. Hey, really? <laughs> I, I called yeah. you Ridley. The fuck? Uh, I mean, Linky. <laughs> you, you definitely did. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Uh, you? Hey, Linky. Hello. Hey, Linky, young. I was willing to accept that as gating progress, but this is when you realize they have the character we love. In a story element, yeah, I can get why that's worse. The author, uh, but you see, that, that's exactly why I hate the Sector 3 stuff so much, because it's tied to the story and it makes Sam like a fucking idiot. Well, to be All fair, right. I love playing Ridley and Smash. <laughs> oh, no, true, true, true. Okay, like, uh, fucking garbage aside, this is also, like, the best Ridley theme in the series. I think it's actually one of the good fights in this game. Uh, no, the best Ridley fight is in Samus Returns. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, I will not be at it well, for well, that. Well, before that game. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, before then, I would say, yeah, this one, this is actually a really good fight. Of course, I'm just getting bodied by the damn tail. But there's no loud scream 2 out of 10. Ah, I mean, he gets pretty loud. Does he do 2? Please. Uh, that looks to be 3. Don't backhand me. Don't taste me, bro. <laughs> Uh, he's invulnerable to the beam while he's in dark form, so I have to... Well, use your life form. I agree too, Nora. Fuck that particular tactic. Wait, is Nora here? Oh, no, fuck, just hear her from the back. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I can't hear her because I got the game audio on. Are you wearing a jacket? <laughs> uh, I'm wearing a hoodie, yes. Oh, okay, pretty cold. Uh, because it's pretty cold in here, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, you guys can't see it. I'm not sure if you can see it anyway. Uh, there are two large windows to my left. 
and uh, air likes to seep in. And when it's really cold outside, uh, it gets kind of chilly here, regardless of how hot it is in here with the heat. It's fucking cold. I was gonna say, I wouldn't need to do it again. What is the temperature down there right now? I'm uh, it is. Like early 40s? No, a quarter than I thought it would be. Yeah. You guys get some of that ice storm uh, yesterday? No, we just got rain. Rain. We got rain. Uh, wind. Ship uh, crashed onto the bloody sea wall again. Okay. Yeah, you, you, Ships yeah, are coming out of the sky. Yeah, it's cold for you, actually. Yeah, what yeah, I, really when I went to work yesterday morning, I, we, had, we had a ton of rain up in the Pittsburgh area, and then it obviously froze into snow. So it was a, yeah. about a quarter of an inch thick that's, of ice on the car. That's the thing so that kind of second does... swipe, second swipe of my thing, the, my entire ice cream broke in half. And I'm like, <laughs> freaking kidding me. Uh, the, the thing that kind of, like, uh, kind of aggravates me about Georgia, though, is that we will get cold days, but they're only like for two days, and they come out of fucking nowhere. Like, at least back in the Northeast, in Philly, there is a preemptive cold front that gets you ready for that sort of shit. Uh, and Georgia's like, all right, today is going to be 29 with a low of 22. And next day, 55. What the fuck? <laughs> like, oh, God. In, um, in Victoria or Riley, it can be, like, boiling hot for, like, an hour and then go down to, like, 10 degrees Celsius in the next hour. Oh, my gosh. I don't know what that means because I'm an ignorant American. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not cold, though. <laughs> Unbearable thoughts welled up in me. I don't have my friend. Making me want sorry. to get as far away. Wait, as I Samus, could. what's at the bottom of this lava pit? Huh? I wonder what could it be. I regretted <laughs> not being able to protect him, and I regretted. I regret nothing. I remember when Anthony died. Literally flashbacks to a minute ago. <laughs> Damn it, help me, I'm dying! Yeah, you still remember his voice like always. Oh god, I'm burning alive down here! Alright, we're past that scene now. Rest in peace, good sir. Oh, and what he said said, remember me? <laughs> I will remember him. <laughs> I'm sorry, who died? It's Anthony. No, we don't shit talk Anthony. Anthony's cool. Who? Oh, <laughs> damn that cold, cold heart of yours. Oh, I remember that guy. Michael Mick doesn't exist. <laughs> He's dying, but when will he stop dancing? People die. Same as dances. Same as does the Fortnite dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, if the fucking... <laughs> Man, if, if the sending ceremony was... You... Now I got the image of Yuna doing the default dance on a spiral of water raising from, like, the... Why you hear the piano in the like, background? Like, fuck you. It's like, yeah, you, we. And it's fucking, she's just doing this shit. Like that, or she just does Orange Justice as, like, the, 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 the dreams of the faith carry on. Fuck you. I imagine, <laughs> I, I imagine that at the end of the game when Orin is passing on. Everybody's <laughs> crying. You just think you know, the yeah, Orin just says, don't, don't stop. <laughs> oh, yeah. Main protagonist is me. Gonna get a sequel. Not many people gonna like that sequel. Uh. <laughs> I had to go with like Tentu. Tentu is great gameplay wise. I don't like its story. What was that for the robot? Yuna's <laughs> orange justice dancing sounds awesome. Yeah, man, it's so awesome. It literally sends people to pass over. God, that Final Fantasy VII, like, uh, Fortnite game, I hope they basically add other Final Fantasy characters to it now. Oh, First Soldier? <laughs> I kind of forgot that the game was even a thing, to be real. Yep, it's a thing. I wish I forgot, too. <laughs> but I keep getting uh, updates about it. There is an item over there that I did not get. Why? Why did I not get this item? It's probably. Was it locked behind a super missile? Well, the Helix that we might be getting part two news this year. Oh, really? Reveal. Uh, first yeah. soldier is is that mobile only? Uh, mobile yeah. and PC. Mobile and PC. Well, it's gonna be coming out for PC later, but for right now it's mobile. This is an item. What if it could be bothered to use an Android emulator? I could do it now. Oh, it's this. Oh, wait, hold on. Did I not get? What's here? Oh, I, I probably need a uh, space jump for this. I don't think I can get this now. 
Uh, or can I? Space jump. I think I need space jump. This thing is not even open. Later it will be. Oh wait, there's a super missile over here though. Avon calling. Okay, yeah, this oh. is what opens it. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. By the way, Shree, congratulations. Oh, thanks. No problem. I, I feel like uh, we haven't talked as much. Uh, we haven't talked, like, about that in a while. But, yeah, congratulations, though, about that. Thanks. Ah, sorry. Hey, it's been a bit, bit, been, uh, been a bit busy. <laughs> It's all good. I completely uh, understood. Uh, are we heading? Look at all those damn blips. I'm just gonna wait until uh, post game. String, I don't know what happened, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> have to uh, congratulations. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, do you? That's wanna... The best one I've got yet. <laughs> <laughs> Something was gnawing at me. It's probably because of the fact that I just saw Anthony die. with Adam had ceased. I wonder what kind of elevator music is this the place. From leader's point of view, Adam would represent the largest threat. It's just basically a great star. That's a red listening. He wouldn't go down. Oh, and that band from East Dark. Well, time to play the one song he would have wanted us to play for his post-mortem. When will I be famous by brothers? So... That was the case. The, 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 the later subplot never what gets resolved in this No, it does not. It just yep. ends anticlimatically. What did he think of the unfolding situation? You think they what were was he gonna to resolve it in a sequel or something? No. He's just he's dead. The dead deleter just. Yeah. Uh MB of the AI dies. Uh, kills him. There is nothing to resolve, he just dies. There he is, my man, you son of a bitch, James. Give me a hug. Stop blocking like there's a stick up your ass. <laughs> hey, look, I could walk like I've got a stick up my ass, too. <laughs> <laughs> Only mine's attached to my arm. Do you have yours attached to an arm? Hmm? Scott thought you were going to say, do you have an arm? <laughs> I didn't think so. Do you Whatever have an ass? <laughs> do you have an ass? <laughs> well, yes, I do. It's a great stick. <laughs> This elevator is bound for Cloud District. Yeah, it's thinner up here. No, it's not a Belmont strut. He's just, it's just he's part of the Rogue Faction. Yeah, he was sent by the Rogue Galactic Federation Faction. That gets quietly resolved between the end of Fusion and Dread. So they've actually just they've, they've, they've found them and they've stopped them. Yeah, just put like, hey, cut that out. All right. If this was <laughs> Go to the corner. Bell, if it was to be a Belmont short, we'd be spending five minutes going around one corner. <laughs> oh my. We've uh, Metroid Fusion. I guess Metroid Synchro will be out next. Yeah, no. Metroid okay. XYZ. Metroid XZ's. And Metroid Link. Metroid Links. <laughs> yeah, I hate it already. Metroid Thank Pendulum. <laughs> And the Goomba's dog. That's right now. That's right now. Yeah, okay. No, it's already dead. It's already died. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think the feet have to be frozen in order for you to do the lethal strike. Otherwise, they just fucking knock you off. That's literally the only difference between these guys and the other ones, where they have little, little mohawk spikes. Well, yeah, it's also rude to jump on their head and shoot them in the face. I, I mean, true, but, you know. <laughs> That's right, dual links, yeah. Wait, how do I... I, I just want to play the old rules, please. <laughs> yeah, where's Metroid. goat format? <laughs> yeah, where's goat format? <laughs> goat format? <laughs> or Edison format? Edison format's pretty fun. What about Thomas Edison? What? There's Wait, a... Thomas Edison played Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> Wait, didn't you have Thomas Edison? I can't see these cards worth a damn. I'm going to invent the light bulb. <laughs> I can see the card. No, I'm kidding. Actually, it wasn't Edison that invented the light bulb. It was somebody else. I can remember reading that. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, the um, 
Um, there's another format in Yu-Gi-Oh! It's kind of come, come popular a couple years after Goat called uh, Edison Format. It was, it was like a bunch Tesla of fun decks. Uh, Nikola Tesla? Okay, cool. Wait, can I get this Growlithe thing right now? Uh, I believe it's later. Uh, or, oh, no, yeah. wait. No, wait. Does not come out? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Is it post-game? It my fault and steal it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is post-game because you need Well said. Well said. Because I need what, Linky? Powerbomb. Pa was it Powerbomb, really? Yes, I have played Master Duel. I've got about 30 hours into Master Duel, so... Oh, Lord. Well, it's... same more than what I've got. Zero. <laughs> yes! Zero! Congratulations, Ross. You have learned basic arithmetic. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for the next class. I'm excited. <laughs> what are you doing, basic gal? I've been waiting all night for this. <laughs> Um, would you look at that? You want that next class? Oh, oh, bad luck. Gotta go for the subscription fee. Hey, I said I'm a teacher, not a fucking charity. Speed booster. You're watching. Hey, hey, don't call us the Three Stooges there, Sonic fan. No, I think he's watching the Three Stooges on TV, just telling me that because... Okay, cool. <laughs> that has the same energy as Be Right Back PewDiePie doing chores. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fuck. Uh... <laughs> 30 hours, he played four duels. <laughs> <laughs> oh my you god, know. man. It's... <sighs> That's why, man, I don't fucking miss the... Modern format of Yu-Gi-Oh because taint turns take too goddamn long. <laughs> turns taint. Yeah, too, turns taint my perception long. of modern day Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> so what's slower then, a single turn of Yu-Gi-Oh or trying to join a single lobby in that new Blast Blue game? <laughs> Congratulations, you talked over the thing. <laughs> the problem is like, like the problem with with the um, Master Duel and that is like, yeah, like. Like, if you go, like, AFK for, like, you can go AFK for, like, 30 seconds. Yeah. And, like, they'll kick you out. But, like, people take, like, 10 minutes to, like, decide on a move on a turn. And I guess as long as that cursor's moving around, doesn't I'm like, how the hell is, like, not kicked you out yet? Like, this isn't, th and then I guess you can play on the phone. And, like, people keep disconnecting. And, like, you're waiting. I'm like, dear God. <laughs> I guess it That's... is, like, real life. Because I watch people's, like, brains and, like, real duels disconnect. And you're like, wait, what am I, where am I SP boosting us then? Uh, I don't think. Oh wait, do I have to speed boost at the very end of this? Yes, sir. Or no, I mean like at the top of the spiral. Yes. No, I can't build up speed boost here. It's not letting me. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it takes a bit because you're basically going up an incline. Good chicka 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 chicka. Okay, we need some like we need some theme music for this. There you go. Woo. Don't fall. <laughs> okay, you can fall. <laughs> she falls, she breaks her legs. She's like, <laughs> I don't think I'm heading this way. Where am I heading this way? No, I think I door my Uh, place. Where's the plot guy? No, the plot guy went down there. Okay. We're not even calling him the leader anymore. <laughs> it's just plot guy. <laughs> I didn't take up these pants. I'll be right back. All right, have a good night, Uncle. Have a good weekend to yourself. Good night, back, Greg. Yeah, man, Hi, it's Greg. like, I, I I, can't fuck with modern day Yu-Gi-Oh because of just how long turns take because of the, like, the combos being so ridiculously long nowadays. That's why, I, like, I, I'm the old man when it comes to that shit. Like, it's go format or bust. Because decks are a little more homogenized than go format, but at least duels last less than fucking five minutes. <laughs> you see, back in my day, all we do is to uh, sacrifice a monster so we can summon a bigger monster. It's all we need back in our day. And I, I like, I don't do too many of the big combo ones. I do let I tend to pl try to play um, simpler decks that like kind of undermine a lot of that. Um, but you know, people get the, then the problem you run into is you know then you have to break my board shit and you're like, <sighs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're just like okay, well, depending on what I draw, I can do this, but do I really want to go through the next bit? It's like, uh, can we just play boy. Texas Hold'em? <laughs> Nah, I'd rather just play 52 pickup, honestly. I got I got the platinum in both seasons, and I was happy about that, so I'm like, alright, well. You killed Jim! Why'd you do that? And he just went off.
fuck your Texas Hold'em? I never played Texas Hold'em. It's pretty easy. Fun. You never played Hold'em? Really? No, I was never into standard card games. Poker, Blackjack. Wait, Blackjack, I can Fucking do. Poker, spades. Texas Hold'em. Fuck, no. my Steve was really into Spades. I never um, played Spades, but... Um, I play all that stuff there. Blackjack, Poker, Hold'em, uh, Gin. Uh, I can do all those. I really so like I, uh, I really like Euchre. Euchre's a lot of fun. We can play sp Oh, fuck Spoons, man. That, that brings up like a lot of like old scars from the past. Spoons? What are we talking about? Is it what I think uh, it is? Basically... Uh, you grab like everybody has to split the whole entire deck, and you basically have to roll like the highest number. And if you roll the highest number, you have to grab the spoon as fast as you can. It is a weird, weird thing, but uh, it's a game they invented before they had like things. Yeah. <laughs> it, it just means it's like, just... hey, you got the highest <laughs> card, you fight for that fucking spoon. You know we need <laughs> things. <laughs> <laughs> The game before we had anything, we had six <laughs> spoons and that was it. So okay, my, my beard just grew out a lot. Bunch. <laughs> we get the okay, space jump and screw attack on the uh, like right after a room when we had an energy tank. Like fuck, man! If only we self authorized earlier. Does she say that? Oh, I'm gonna authorize this. She she, she self authorized the space jump and screw attack, which is no no she, no. She basically be like, oh yeah. And she's like, do you approve, lady? She's like, she back. Any objections, second. Adam? That, that's yeah. what she says, yeah. I like those little moments. <laughs> it's not earned. <laughs> I know, I know. It, it's it's not. In this game, it's not earned. And have you ever played Euchre? I don't know what that Euchre? is. It's a partner 2v2 card game, basically. You play with the deck from nine to aces, and uh, you're trying to... Yeah, it's... There's like wild, there's like wild suits, and you're just trying. To, you you kind of have to like work as a team to like win more hands than your uh, opponents do, and you usually play about ten rounds in, a, in like one match. It's, it's fun because you have to like use teamwork without like you know saying, "Hey, I have." It's like 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 go fish. For, hey, <laughs> okay. I have three jack. You know, like that shit. Like no. I think like, of like other card games I used to play as a kid. Like it doesn't have to be strictly like a uh, full deck. No, because like once uh once Pokemon entered the scene and Yu-Gi-Oh, that was essentially what it amounted to. Like beforehand, it was just board games. Yeah. Uh, good old. Which that shit's played. so de like I can't believe how expensive board games are. Dude, <laughs> I know. Like a copy, like a one Monopoly board at GameStop is still like forty bucks. Like, I want. Why? Do you think? Maybe uh, I might be overthinking it. Do you think the era of content creation has something to do with that? Because people will now just buy these elaborate board games and make events out of it, like uh, live streams, uh, YouTube videos, that sort of shit. I don't know, but even like the basic ones, like you know, Ticket to Ride and like you know, Monopoly and all, like that stuff should not be like 40, 50 bucks for some of that shit. Well, like, to be maybe. fair, there is like an easier way to play all these like board games. It's thanks to uh, right. Tabletop yeah. Simulator, where you yeah. can just like yeah. literally go to a lobby. You can just like, hey, yeah. we're gonna play Monopoly. We just download the boards in there. But see, here's my thing. I, I would much rather be in front of a person playing a board game. Like that's one of those things. Like you, Agreed. you know. Yes. Agreed. Like. Get my family or friends together and let's do a giant like Monopoly game or whatever. Like, but not risk. <laughs> oh risk. come on, risk, risk, risk bores risk. the fuck out of me, man. You see me when you <laughs> we're over at Jacob's so place. Like, oh my god, I'm just trying that to hold it legacy, together. Though? That that risk legacy was pretty cool though. I, it, I do. That, that game I would love to finish that someday. No, it wasn't that. Oh, wait, okay, no, it wasn't. It wasn't that risk session. It was the risk session before that last, the previous year. That went on yeah. way too fucking Behind long. Doors, yeah. The now, see, I think the, the the key with risk, like instead of literally going for world domination, like once you get like a certain percentage of the board, like sixty percent, so that because then you don't got to do all like the. Hey, I'm gonna win this game, but we're gonna play for 30, 35 more minutes before. This. <laughs> like that, that I'm to me. Give you a chance. <laughs> I'd rather play modern Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> yeah. There are some bad. I mean, 
th there are formats in, in modern Yu-Gi-Oh that have been good, and there are others that have been pretty terrible. And yeah, there are there are decks where yeah they're just doing these like twenty minute combo lines. It does it does get a little ridiculous, but yeah. not all. It's not all like that, and I I do still enjoy the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm mostly talking in jest. But it, my yes. my problem is just that I don't have the time that I used to have to get dedicated to the card game. Oh yeah, that's yeah, why that that's also primarily reason why I stick the goat because I already know what I'm getting myself into. Then the risk of yeah. withholding and I enjoy like I, I enjoy the other formats too. I like I like code format. It's it's fun. Can we there play are diplomacy on our next Wasn't game? Night? <laughs> What's that? No, I believe the chat. Can no, we play no, no. Diplomacy? Next game night is going to be fucking trouble. We're playing fucking trouble. <laughs> oh, I see. I fuck with trouble. I played a lot of trouble back then. At the same time. Yo, it's like trouble mousetrap. By the way, fuck putting together that my mousetrap. Dude, <laughs> setting up the trap was the best part. Nobody actually played the game. <laughs> and that's true. But you basically do it once, and you basically got to set all this shit up again. <laughs> Sabesians. That's a word. Have I watched the new supermarket suite? What the fuck? No what am I, a 70 year old Hispanic father? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I, I don't. I don't watch. Yet. I don't watch regular. <laughs> I don't watch regular ass TV anymore. I'm sorry. You say supermarket suite. I immediately thought of like my my old aunt and grandpa. It was like I. I don't watch supermarket suite. I don't watch regular television anymore at all. Like at all. TV, Johnny. <laughs> Let it consume you. <laughs> Can't remember. Oh like the only time I ever watch cable or network television, if that is when I'm watching AEW. They should have been able to destroy a facility of this scope. With and even the, then, only time, the only time I miss it is like every now and then I do want to catch like a football game or something like that. But yeah, like I, I haven't had cable since I moved into this apartment. Yeah, like several years. Like ago. I don't like, I, like fucking. Like, I know, like, the the gag now is that there's so many streaming services, like, available, but even then, like, all those together is still cheaper than having a fucking direct TV or cable bill. Mm -hmm. Because, my God, God they charge right? you up the ass. Like, the well, worst... and you don't have to have them all at the same time. It's the nice yeah. part. Like, if you, like, you can have Netflix for a couple months, watch everything you want to watch on there, and then stop paying Just for cancel, it, and then yeah. buy Hulu or get whatever. By the way, anybody anybody in here Attack on Titan fan? Uh, no. That's not me. Not I, I gave I gave a... I gave it one the season, were and uh, I just stopped watching it. Yes. I don't like I don't like it when no one's allowed to have a happy ending. The baby. <laughs> I mean, I know it, like I hear it, it gets better in that regard, Here's but there's only so much staring, right? I can bear at once. That is like I don't I don't enjoy watching this. Metroid remnants were it is good. I, they're they're on. They're doing. They're finishing up the final season mm. uh, now, and it's been. I was just curious if anybody wanted to discuss what happened so far. But since I haven't heard any, oh my god, yeah, I'm gonna just kind of leave it go. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, yeah. What are we all talking about. <laughs> Back on Titan. Uh. I, I cannot get into that show, man. I am sorry. Like, the first episode fucking just, like, as soon as you see that guy literally get eaten in half, I'm like, nope! I'm so, but, you, but, you can, you, but you can use that as a way to, like, grab the viewer. It's like, oh, that's fucked up. Like, I hope they find ways to overcome and achieve it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's fucking dead! Yeah, it's like, everything's on fire, and the fire's getting bigger. <laughs> it's literally the entire first season. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 but I'm, I'm, I'm like the whole, like, if I see any kind of gore that goes way too far like that shit, I'm like, uh-uh, oh, oh, I'm out of here. Yeah, it's, it's like, I'm sourness. sorry, man. It's like, there, there's only so much, there's only so much dourness I can take before I become, the one thing I hate feeling the most in any sort of media I watch is apathetic. Like, I hate feeling apathetic to what I'm watching, either because characters aren't allowed to grow, or characters aren't allowed to have happy endings. Or characters are not allowed to have little personal victories here and there. And it's like if if I if I'm if I'm feeling numb by it, then I'm not enjoying myself, and I don't want to. Uh, I, I don't want to keep watching it. It wasn't the mother. Understand? Uh, then well, Johnny, again, hold on a second. Comic fan three one five. Then John wouldn't probably like Kyle I've watched the entire day of Kyle I love Kyle Bebop. Kyle Bebop. Bebop is fantastic. It is fantastic. Did you watch the live action? No, I did not. See. I really enjoyed the live action version too. Uh, it, not enough people did though. It got canceled after what's in. Here's so, the, look, are, I'll be the first. I will be. I will be. I will be the first to say. I think I talked to Ryan just about this. If everything she said was true. I'm of the firm believer, and I'm not. I'm trying to negate any criticism towards anyone that I think. I think that that show was dead on arrival, simply because 
old fans just hated fucking change. And I don't mean to like call anybody out like that. I don't mean to say that you're wrong about those sort of things. But I, I know, I have a feel in my bones that that show was down around because old fans just don't like the idea of their favorite anime getting a live action treatment. When the fact of the matter is that you can still just watch the old goddamn cartoon. <laughs> exactly. It doesn't erase. Like it anything. doesn't erase anything. It doesn't taint anything because old fans are still gonna watch old the the old original show, and old fans can still recommend the old show to new fans. <laughs> Here's you know, my biggest problem with what happened with the live action Cowboy Bebop. I read probably 30 something reviews. Yeah. Because, like, I just, because I was just in well over half of them, they did not watch Beyond or even finish the first episode. Yes. And they were completely trashing the series. I'm like, God, like, this should not, like, and it, these, this is content that's being, like, pushed up in, like, social media things because of what they're saying. And it's like, you haven't even watched it. Like, how the fuck are you going out here yeah. and saying, like, now, I will this is agree. Good or bad. Based on the final product, from what I've seen of it, though, it deserved better. Yes. But that is a different argument compared to people just damning it on arrival before it even aired. Exactly. Yeah, that is yeah. a different thing. And it's like, guys. I, 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 and I understand where it stands from. It, it, a, a lot of it may come from, like, you know, like, the, like the Disney live action stuff. No you know, like uh, Beauty and the Beast, uh, Lion King, that sort of thing. And so those are just, th those are not also, not only just worse than their original versions, but they're also just but having me not good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. From what I understand. And a lot of, there wasn't a lot of effort, in my opinion, put into some of those that I've it watched. It shouldn't like, be. My, my point is, it shouldn't be an immediate condemnation. I bet to the Metroids and like, it, for all we know, it could be good. But the problem is that it's easy to get negative and pessimistic. Yeah. It's hard to well, embrace it, change. I and here, here's the other problem. It, in all of these cases, you're getting something that you already have. Like, yes. you're, you're never going to be original because you're no. literally copying something that already exists. So, in my opinion, is it is... Any of the live action Does stuff that's being remade, whether it's Cowboy Bebop operated that stuff, Commander or Adam one of the live action Disney's that I really got, is it ever going to be as good? Probably not, because not only is there a nostalgia factor, but they did it first. Like, when you do it first, like, yeah, you might be able to improve or, you know, whatever on some things, but, like, that's still going to be the first thing. So, every, and that was the other half of the reviews I read. Like, well, like, it was well acted. It was, this was great. That was great. This was great. But it was terrible. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I, I didn't like what they did with this plot point. So this is awful. And I'm like, well, wait, no. Like, <laughs> you can't sit there and tell me that, like, the cast cares. And they put, that they look and sound just like the, like, the actors and or the or the cart the anime and they did this right and they did that right and then you're like why well, didn't like the death plot okay but like that doesn't mean you spent this whole article shitting on this thing that you oh by the way at the end said you liked all this other stuff that is like the main things you would watch it for it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. <sighs> so My, that, that, that uh, was a piss me off about the, it. the issue uh general godzilla counter a lot of review i got so much time to talk about this is cutting so long <laughs> 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 A lot of reviews that watch the full show and it's still often, uh, it's still awful, sorry. Uh, General Godzilla, it's a great counterpoint. However, I would also argue that those that are sharing clips on social media exist in the bubble of wanting to hate it in the first place. So exactly. if you are ingesting clips of Cowboy Bebop live action on social media, it is likely from someone who didn't like it in the first place on arrival and just want to show you the bad bits without no interest of in showing you what might have been good about it. And to me, that's not fair. Like, I think at the end of the day, when someone or when some so, sort of media exists for someone to watch, form your own goddamn opinion. <laughs> like, yes. for God's sakes, like, watch it for yourself and form your own. The worst, worst case, you waste a bit of time. That's it. At least just watch an episode. If it didn't tickle your fancy, don't, don't, don't fucking watch the rest of it. But don't watch five seconds from an episode from someone who doesn't want to watch it in the first place and then make an entire fucking critique over the entire thing over that. That's stupid. That is very yeah, narrow-minded. That is very narrow-minded and it is very counterproductive. I'm just saying, it's like, that's what drives me fucking nuts. Anyway, I got yeah. spaced up with Screw Attack. I can't talk anymore because the game is back on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have to play the game now. Shit. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> yeah, again. Well, we're you know, it was it perfect? They're like, no. There was definitely some problems. There was some. I could. They. It could have used a bigger budget. There were some plot points I think they could have done better, or they shouldn't have remixed, or should have remixed. But I think they did a lot of interesting stuff in there too. Like, there's episodes that, um, you know, without giving too much away, like one of my favorite episodes 
Um, it's not my absolute favorite, but one of my favorite foods from the original was uh, the uh, Black Dog Serenade, where uh, it's the one with Jet, and he goes back to like his cop buddy. That when this guy gets like basically really, like escaped from prison, yeah. they do a version of that in Bebop. And what I like about how they did the live action Bebop is they literally did it like jazz. Like you have like the the structure of the notes, you, you have this, you have the scales you're using, you have everything set up. But then every time you play it, you play the solos and you play it a little bit differently each time. And that's kind of what they do with a lot of like the things they do take from the original series is they they take the major beats but then they kind of remix it a little bit. Do you and still play it's better? And sometimes it's worse. And that was one like for instance I, I love what they did. Again, it was one of my favorite episodes in the original, but I love how they remixed it in the live action. Uh, out of um, curiosity, Russ, do you still play? What's up? Do you still play? Play which one? Sex. When I can, okay. uh, not very often anymore. <laughs> I, was, I was just curious. I was curious. <laughs> yeah. Now, nah, well, again, I, I'm, in, I'm in my, I got this apartment, and it's pretty quiet around here, and I don't yeah. want to start blowing that okay. thing up. And oh, okay, know. I'm not gonna lie, but I thought you were just literally gonna pull up a saxophone to start playing. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't want to brag, but <laughs> <laughs> it just whips it out. He always has it on this person. Finally, someone asked. <laughs> 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 I don't want to brag or anything, but <laughs> I don't want to brag, but I have an orchestra on my side right now, and we'll just, we'll stuff, we'll just play a thing. Uh, well, Opera House doesn't count straight. People. <laughs> uh, okay, well, well, I think we just go back from this point, so. And Johnny's having fun with the screw attack. <laughs> Fuck you, dude, dude, the screw attack and spin jump in this game is actually really fucking good. Oh, it is. Comic <laughs> man, I agree with that, by the way. What's up? I think that's uh, one of the comments about the yeah, Bebop. Sorry, I just saw. I just read this comment that came in. I was like, yeah, I like that. I like that change. I like, there, again, there were things in there that were good. Like, I really enjoyed what they did with it and the remix they that they pulled. Um, but there were things I didn't. I, I really uh, just. I really didn't. I, I'm not a fan of how they did vicious. He's like one of the few actors I didn't like him portraying the role. I didn't like what they did with this character, but like it works within the story. So I'm not like gonna, you know. Oh, this is all terrible because it's. It's not one to one the same. Yeah. Oh, Here's the thing: yeah, it, yeah. Vicious in the original in the original show, I think might have had five minutes of screen time. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> if that, like, if you think about it, um, he might have had five minutes of screen time in 26 episodes, and. <laughs> I think he, I think uh, Vicious and his bird <laughs> ahead of uh, equals three times. It was his bird, his yeah, vulture, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah like, cool. how do you compare? You can't compare the two things, like in that sense. Like, yeah, they did. A, they, and he was effective villain, but he also didn't say much. To, it, it was all in like the fear of the unknown, basically. Like you just know that like how he Spike is feared, uh, and right. you will later find out the reason why, basically. Exactly. He lives on and, through mystery. Like he is, he is alluring through mystery. Exactly. Obviously, in a ten episode, hour long, you know, net, you know, ep per episode Netflix show, you're gonna get a lot more about vicious. So <laughs> there's gonna be, there's no way you're gonna have the same allure with, because you can get, dive more into the character. And again, they do some interesting things with him that I actually did like. But do I like the characterization as much as I would? No. But it's different. It's not supposed to be the same. All right, I'm done with this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm tired. I don't want to. I don't want to drag this down anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not dragging this down anymore. You're fine. <laughs> no, man. Fuck. I appreciate the background. Uh, okay. Well, I'll keep going, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, so in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> Right, you know did anyone in chat? Did anyone see that and, and enjoy it? Like, like again, maybe not as much as the original, but enjoy it. Uh, I don't think anybody here would actually watch the Netflix show. I, I, I haven't watched the anime, to be honest. Oh, you should at least watch the anime one. If I had to recommend one, you watch the anime one. The anime one's still one of my favorite shows of all time. Well, yeah. I will one day. We're gonna talk about good animes. Go watch Big O. Big O. Big O. Bingo. If you, you no, know, no. If you love like a mystery with giant ass fucking robots. With a fucking cool stylized look to it, I would heavily recommend they go. It's probably one of my favorite out there. And plus, fucking jazz up that shit with the music. Mm, mm, mm. I love that shit. 
It's basically the vibe of that. Uh, the enemy. Yo, series. can we just talk about how much this dude sucks? <laughs> I literally get new abilities and nothing seems to want to fucking work with this guy. The guild is like Batman with a giant robot. <laughs> <laughs> God, you're right. Yeah, it's basically Batman. Finally, holy shit. What do we get from this dude? You get a ball. Was this secret miss? <laughs> it's a street. It's a stress ball, Johnny. <laughs> Just squeeze it. Yeah, that's all it is. Yeah. <laughs> that's right, secret missile. Okay. Yeah, it's a N Nintendo nerd. I'm, I'm, I just read your comment. Like you said, it was completely absent from Cowboy Bebop. What about that? Like, dive into that a little bit more. Like when you look at the characters, maybe like you know people will say like Faye and Vicious, but like you look at what they did with Spike and with Jet and with you know gave Julia a lot more characterization and such. Like when you listen, to, you listen to the characters and they take the beats from the show and they. I mean, I don't know. I. I it, it felt very Cowboy Bebop to me. Again, you're, everybody's entitled to their opinion, but right, I, right, right. I don't agree with that. I just don't agree with the fact that, you know, oh, it wasn't Bebop, because, like, why not? Ooh, excuse me. You are pardoned. b fight of Netflix and John Cena's Guile. Wait, what? <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> Wait, would John Cena be Guile? Peacemaker. <laughs> no. Uh, fucking, yeah, I know he just plays Street for Peacemaker, like, Red Bull Sale. No, if, if, if John Cena was inside a live action Street Fighter adaptation. I want to be Bison. Fucking, no, no, give, uh, no. Uh, fucking, I don't know, give him a wig. He could be Alex. <laughs> oh, hi. Hello there. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> John Cena must by contract be Peacemaker in all future movies. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ronaldo. Yeah, cool. Uh, well, Ronaldo's more of a Final Fight character, though, isn't he? Not necessarily a uh, Street Fighter. Who's see him again? I thought we were getting into the soccer player. I was like, what? Uh, John Cena would be... No, John Cena would make a good Charlie, I feel. That's a good. John Cena would be John Cena. I like to see him wear a fucking Charlie wig. That shit would be hilarious. Like, get that shit off your head. That ain't your hair. Oh, is it Orlento? Sorry. What I should have said was... What, what I should say is I haven't seen uh, Peacemaker. Well, I haven't seen that John Cena was in Peacemaker because he's invisible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> No, no, you're thinking of you're, you're thinking of Kel Mitchell and Mystery Man. Ah, uh, well, the, you the, can the original John Cena. <laughs> Maybe you should put some clothes on before you continue fighting evil today. No, no. Uh, I like can this. I go <laughs> this way? I mean, should I be going through the speed booster track, or should I just keep going the long way around? I think I have to go the long way around. Yeah, or maybe just I down to the highway. You'd be fine. I love Mystery. Thank you, John, for making the Mystery Man come. Oh, I love Mystery Man. <laughs> I love that movie. Mystery Man? Mystery Man, yeah. Ben yes. Stiller, and, uh, Paul Rubin, Cal William Mitchell. H. Macy. Yeah, William H. Yeah. Janine uh, Garon. I would probably have to see an image of it. Can't refresh it. It's a superhero spoof movie. In my opinion, probably one of the funniest spoof movies. Jeffrey Rush, oh. by the way. Everybody forgets Jeffrey Rush was in that. As the villain. Fuck you. Can I just go through here? Oh no, I can't, can I? No, oh, you gotta go the other way. Why? I don't know. Because <laughs> <laughs> you forgot the book. I don't make the rules. <laughs> Am I gonna see Jackass forever? Nah, I fell off of Jackass a long time ago. Don't forget people. Yeah, I said Paul Rubin. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was, I, People are not used to his real name. <laughs> <laughs> he plays a character outside of Pee Wee, guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's also in Batman Returns in a cameo. 
Wait, yeah, really? he was fucking Penguin's father. That fucks me yep. up. I was like, man, I'd be Penguin too if my dad was fucking Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yep. Paul Rubin played Penguin's father in Batman Returns. Just watch the just watch the the watch the clip on YouTube. It's like thirty seconds long. I, I believe you. <laughs> I don't want to. Do I, I don't want to see it. I don't want to know. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I completely, hundred percent trust you. It's just not right now. <laughs> That's enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Uh, there's another item on the other side. Uh, I have to go get it. Kids, this is crack. This is crack. <laughs> I can't do the voice. <laughs> Not well, at least. We're gonna make a day in DeVito, huh? <laughs> My <laughs> 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 god, was drinking, son of a bitch. Every time we do that fucking voice, I'm always taking a fucking church. <laughs> what the? I, I speed boosted into the fucking hell. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> hell the fuck? I didn't really. Take that pothole. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that hole in particular. Nice, nice nostalgia cr cr critic reference, Mr. Uh, Wildfire. Oh, we have to fucking... Ooh, okay. <laughs> oh, boy, 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 boy. You know, I completely forgot about the revisit the second two. I think this is like when we get close to like the gravity ship. I can't remember. I but think. I think yeah, because we're gonna be fighting Nightmare soon. Right, yeah, not this time, time, isn't it? Yeah. Well, not not anytime soon. I think we still got a bit, but we're getting there. Pretty soon we'll see our nightmares in true form. Uh, how would you use the speed booster and screw attack in real life as a daily life thing? You don't. Your body will basically fall apart. Yeah, your, your body will fall apart running at the speeds of a speed booster because your body's not meant to handle such g forces. Uh, I'd, I'd 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 use my screw attack as an Uber. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, see, the screw, attack, I... the screw attack is just the electrical somersault. The space jump is what gives you the continuous jumps. Mm. If, if, if I screw attack around the globe to get to America, does it go in line with gravity, or will I eventually get to the ocean? <laughs> yeah, will you eventually just invert? <laughs> spin jump yeah, over a line. At, you can't spin possible. jump over a line at Walmart, and they say to go back to the back of the line. Fucking cutter? It's still Get cutting, yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> I don't give a fuck how you did it, you still did it. If you spin jump and, and, and the line in front of you just happens Oh fuck, look, speaking of which, uh, uh, speaking of which, uh, String, we just switched hemispheres right now. <laughs> That's this one again, normal looks like. Yeah. <laughs> the HUD's still out of whack. Uh, can I get that now? Yes. I am pretty sure. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for believing me. That's my uh, <laughs> Thank you. On my hands in the air, like <laughs> trying to give you some spirit energy for spirit Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good word. <laughs> it's, 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 not that, yeah, it's, in the, it's in that vent, yeah. I think. Oh, I can... shit. It's us. Sorry. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> that is all. Oh, no. Sammy did say Among Us earlier. People in chat kind of went nuts for it. Oh, fuck. I missed it. <laughs> Wait, why are you upset? Oh, yeah, we're in this part. Yeah, gravity. I'm, I've actually never played Among Us, so... Really? Never? Not once? Yeah. No, not once. It's I, I think you'd time. like it. I think you'd like yeah. it. Yeah. I I how, don't how play it often. I hate... I don't play it often because I hate getting imposter and I fucking suck at lying. Oh, that's a decent lie right there. You see, it's fun. <laughs> like, you see, it's fun picking out the imposter. It is, but I hate it when I'm the imposter because my idea of like getting past it is just being quiet and letting the other group crew, uh, crewmates tear each other apart. And then you get the, you, then you get the imposter and you fucking snap my neck. Yeah, yeah, oh, it's fine. You gotta let that go. 
<laughs> no, I'm I go. Still... My my favorite one was still when I, everyone was stacked doing a task and I killed someone and managed to get away. But... Yeah. <laughs> I love when I pulled that off. I think I've only played the game maybe three times total. Or right, missiles. So, it sounds like uh, there's a Jackbox game called uh, Push the Button. It's one of, oh it's yeah, one, I love that game. That's <laughs> one of my favorites on Jackbox. So I did that. I did that a bunch, especially during the Is pandemic. That a new one? It's on Jackbox, I think five or six. So newer. They're at six. <laughs> it's seven or eight now, I believe. <laughs> I like the effect of high gravity in this part of the game, though. To be fair, I like to like the aesthetic, the fact that so like your foot, like your foot. Yeah, it, it's like you, you, that's exactly it, Linky. It's like you have the iron boots on. <laughs> Maybe if this was 500 times normal gravity, I might <laughs> feel it. But 10, I don't, don't even, even feel it. Not even have to get a boner. <laughs> yeah, how does a boner work in 10 times gravity? Yeah, what if I'm off? Don't. Just <laughs> There you go. There you go. That's a question for the ages. I need a two-hour video essay on that shit. <laughs> you're, all, you're all welcome for that. Uh, can I? Oh, yeah, I can just barely make this. You're a good instructor. <laughs> Your dick has the iron boot on. <laughs> So that's why I bet you like trading in high gravity, yeah. Your reaction lasts longer than three hours. Yeah, nice. <laughs> you intense training. Wouldn't that make, wouldn't that make the crotch up? Oh yeah, your balls get training too, so. Yeah, yeah. You become an old man at 20. <laughs> can I make this or do I have to wait until gravity's reset before? Oh fuck, yeah, I just can't. All right, I have to wait until I come back later. Oh. Wow, <laughs> Hold on, in in space, lack of gravity means more blood is flowing to the head and chest, resulting in lower blood pressure to all parts below the waist. Low blood pressure in space means that, in all likelihood, tissue is shrinking. Maybe just a tiny amount, but a, but a definite potential. Relatedly, your boner will probably <laughs> suffer. Thank you. I was waiting for the point of this essay. Uh, thank you for telling me that, Vivi. No. I, 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 I have no doubt you could write something like that, but that was too quick. You got that from somewhere. You yeah, I was gonna say. Why. I see. Well, no, he put it. He put it in quotes, so I think he is quoting something. Yes. Yeah. Gravity boner theory. <laughs> right, you get an A plus for the class. Get out of here. <laughs> for one class, essay, I win. <laughs> Hey, just be, just because that that's true one way, the inverse does not necessarily have to be true there, Platinum Man. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking... I don't... Wait, someone clip this. I gotta. I gotta. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah. Again, by all means, if there's something, if there's a moment here in the streams that tickle your funny bone, I do encourage you guys to clip shit so that hey, it's, it it's makes it easy to read. It's just a boner, a boner theory. Yeah. Thanks for watching. The Get boner. <laughs> What's oh, the yeah, point? Wait, what was the be... James parody of James Bourne? Just like boner or some other shit. The boner legacy. Those are just like Bond esque films, right? With just fucking, uh, what's this guy's name? Matt Damon? I believe that's what it was. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I get still recovering. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. How are you feeling, by the way? Uh, I feel a lot better. It's still a little bit pressure on my chest. I'm fine. Okay. Did, did you have the? Did you have the the Rona? Yep. yep. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Sounds we gotta good. do this now. Holy shit! All right, I'll do this later. Okay. All right, who's who's ready to see our level of a boy? What's well, I mean, I popped off when I got up. here for the first time. I was happy to see him. I was like, oh, it's nightmare. I really do like his alignment. So where's my roof? Hey, Jason, how's it going? 
That's like the boss from Clockwork Knight, the TV. <laughs> well, <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't recognize it. It must be a Saturn game. Yeah, it is the Saturn game we were talking about, yeah. Yeah, okay. one of the Saturn games. I think maybe... We did a Let's Play of that, like, a few years ago. We did. One and two, because they yeah. were both pretty short. We, we did both? Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Wait, did we? I thought we only did one. We did. No, we did both. We did them both the same I, day. I allow this. They were no, only, you um, were there. You were basically drinking all the alcohol. You must have forgot. <laughs> both, both games are a little a little over an hour long. We just did them both back to back. I had a pact that I would not let out. Fuck with my two on my channel. <laughs> oh, wait, fuck. We I just can't That was a weird 2D side-throwing game. Right? It was one of the launch platformers. Yeah. That and uh, Bug. Bug? Bug yeah. was, uh... Bug. I actually enjoyed Bug. It was, it was it was different. Different, but it wasn't good. It still surprises me, like, how yeah, many, um... How many PS1 games ended up on Saturn. I think someone mentioned, I remember, about Croc being on the Saturn. Yeah, Croc was on Saturn, and Croc wasn't good on Saturn. I mean, it wasn't good on PlayStation. Either. I mean, I could still play it on PlayStation. <laughs> it wasn't no. good. It was just... <laughs> yeah. That like Rayman. I have, I have a copy of Rayman. I, I, I do it. Rayman on Saturn is actually pretty good. Really good. And there's some movement quirks in there, but they designed the game around them. Like so, to me, it was fun. I actually, I've played, I've played through that one multiple times. I mean, Saturn, Saturn and I honestly believe the the actual output of the system has aged the least out of the of that generation. I agree with that. God, for some reason, that just reminded me of the fucking final boss or one of the boss, one of the bosses from the Puppet Game. <laughs> we just slide around like that. Oh, the puppet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Mickey. Now I need to throw some all-purpose paint on the floor. It'll work. Trust me. God, <laughs> I didn't know that he told me this shit. <laughs> I always just make the shot of faith and just pr hope and pray. <laughs> Someone didn't do the Nintendo gallery them. Every every game like this, there's a boss that has that attack. What? With the uh, the lights that like the spin around light attack, basically. Yeah, I mean this game is a twice because the fucking lava monster we fought earlier did that too. Yeah. I feel like every game. Ow. Right yeah. near the end of it. <laughs> yeah. Look like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Sheets is dang expensive. Sorry, we didn't chat again. What's that? Sheets. Sheets is like Western it's, PA. It's West PA, Wawa. Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, okay. Uh, down here, we have something called Quick Trip, and that's okay. Like, I've actually went there a couple of days ago. That's all right. Um, it, I don't have, not really, it, it's all contestant area is more like, it's more 7-Eleven, though, mm -hmm. than a standard deli. So I, I still can't make a, a, a total assessment. Wawa's, Wawa's definitely got the, the, the leg up. Although now there's just so many of them now. Like they, they just keep building these dang gas station chains, Sheets, Get-Go, Speedway. It's like, they just keep adding them everywhere. You enjoy Wawa's in the way. It was good. Wawa fucked really nice. was. That is true. I was in Chicago. Uh, who's that? Star, Star Manark. I like some of your names, by the way. I... <laughs> I was in Chicago and was surprised there was like nowhere to go for something like after a certain time of day. <laughs> like nowhere. Yeah, things just shut down if you don't get it fast. Literally, I was like, I was like, this city has how many people in it and you can't eat anywhere. <laughs> uh, when we get to the next save room, I'm going to be taking a small break. So I got to go to the bathroom. Are we already at Sector Zero? Uh, All right, this I think it is. Uh, excuse me.
Oh yeah, Xperia, I got a question for you. What's up? Is there a live action Digimon movie? Or is someone bullshitting? No, thankfully. Okay. Pray there never is one. Don't, don't say that out loud, it'll give someone an idea that doesn't need to be there. Yeah, sure, no one this day and age. Really just got Pokemon live action one. Well, to be fair, Detective Pikachu is actually a really good show. Or a good movie. Yeah, it was. I'm surprised that they actually ended up cancelling the sequel, which I was kind of surprised about. There was a sequel in the making? They were making it. Huh. Making it for oh, they cancelled wow. it. Alright, I am going on break. For like, uh, give myself 10 minutes. The mic is still hot. So no, quick journey's gone. So Say no what ethic you slurs. <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm going to remember to mute my mic while I go take a piss because I forgot to do that last night and it was embarrassing. I think I might. You gotta, you gotta take a heavy load there, uh, <laughs> No, it's more like I, I was, I was in a friend's uh, Discord server, uh, just hanging out, and I had to go get up and take a piss. And I forgot to mute the mic. You just hear the piss noise. Yeah. They like, <laughs> they, no, they were like, "You frying chicken in there?" It's like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" <laughs> <laughs> nah, just kidding. But you piss loud as fuck. Alright, I'll see you guys around. Enjoy the rest of the stream. Alright, thanks, Strang. Right, you take care. Oh, Strang. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Yeah, so tonight I'm going to be starting watching Season 3 of Digimon. Alright, you starting on Tamers. Yep. But why? Uh, It's actually part of like a big thing that I'm going to be doing here for like a whole entire year where I'm going to be watching the entirety of every single Digimon episode and series. And kind of in, the, in, the, in between as well with the movies as well. We already watched the first movie. <laughs> Well, to reiterate, Char, he's seen the awful American version of the first three OVAs. Yeah, which which honestly <laughs> is okay. I love how stupid it is because, like, again, I'm a 90s kid. But fuck the opening of that movie. Fuck it to fucking hell. <laughs> Did you at least skip the Angela Anaconda nonsense? No, we 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 went full force with that shit. <laughs> you actually sat down and enjoyed that show. Good God, why? No, no, no. We didn't enjoy it. We fucking tear that shit to shreds. <laughs> no, no, no. There was no enjoyment to be had. This we sat happened. there and we fucking knew the fucking risk and watched it. <laughs> you watched a bunch of stills of dead people. You must really feel fulfilled in your life. Uh, it was the worst feeling in the world. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. I remember. It was a full series at one point. Yes, I know. It used to run alongside with Kablam and I fucking hate it when it popped on. They would take a quick break myself be right back yeah but hey i'm finally in the season three which from here on out yeah, it's gonna be fucking blind it was more because it was made from like old stock photos from like the 50s or something yep it's been oh man that's still a series i just want to forget about and just let it burn in my mind forever Unfortunately, I saw the series back when it first aired, and I can't scrub it from memory. I mean, there's hypnosis it, that we can try. <laughs> I've proven immune to it. Fuck. Well, I tried everything. By the way, I'm just going to fill out the uh, knowledge of other stuff. Why was Angela and the Conza so bad? Because it was just a terrible TV series. The story was utter nonsense. The characters were poorly written. And for some reason, the main character had this weird, weird fucking thing for wanting to see, like, multiple people die in many gruesome ways. Yeah, she literally imagines, like, fucking terror of death onto these people. And it's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> I know it's a kid's show, but my god. <laughs> you don't show that shit. Has he finished season two? Yeah, he finished it the other day. Yep. I still love season two. I know how stupid it is and how... Rush it is, but I still fucking love season. I will be enraged by um, Alex. Hey, Alex. All oh, my, my homies hate Von Karma. Uh, someone's playing Phoenix right then. So. <laughs> first or sec first game with actual Manfred, or two and three with uh, Francesca. Either or is fair, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Finished. Yeah. Like I said, I can't. Well, whenever I just like have like a big longer breath, and whenever it just finally exhales, I just have to cough for no reason, for some reason. 
Uh, case four, Manfred. Fuck him, Manfred. Oh, Joy, you're up to um, case five. Uh, Rise from the ashes. Enjoy the longest case in the fucking series. It goes on for way too long. Oh, yes. How long is it? Uh, well, if I pull out an old game of fake you think, I will tell you exactly how long it is. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're looking for the original game, uh, DS onwards. You want a spoiler-free one, thank you. Okay, I need Rise from the Ashes, which is case five. So you've got one big investigation scene, then you've got not one, but two big trial cases, another investigation scene, both of which are very lengthy, and then you have another one for uh, a trial, then you have another investigation, then you have another trial, and that's it. TLDR, it's very fucking long. <laughs> Tell me this it's the longest bad. in the series. It's Yeah, here you go. Three investigations, three trial days, to be accurate. They'd be long, yep. Oh shit, I forgot about Nathan! Uh, is it worth streaming Case 5? Um, well, you kind of need to because Case 5 is important for uh, Ace Attorney Investigations and Apollo Justice onwards. Because it introduces important characters that show up in the later games. Honestly, it may be a long case, but it's actually really good. I didn't say it was a bad case, it was just really fucking long. Maybe a bit too long for its own good. Because it was added in the DS version. Alright, because they want to use the touchscreen like, capability for that game. Well, it's also in the Wii game. Oh, but somehow they managed to make it worse for the Wii version. Nice. Oh? <laughs> the fifth case is separate DLC for the Wii version. Are you kidding me? Nope. Eh, bullcrap. Oh, pay and play. I mean, it was a problem for all the five minutes before we realized you're on a fucking Wii. I can just install the WAD. They played the Danganronpa trilogy. Well, they're skipping Ultra Despair Girls, so wise decision there. I don't know, I feel like they're missing the best part. Which I don't know what that is. <laughs> Let's take a visual novel game and make it into a third-person shooter. What's the worst that could happen? Oh. What's the... Oh boy. Alright. I'm back. I gotta get a fucking haircut and I get my beard trimmed. Just beeps and boops. Did I get raided while I was on break? That's fucked up. Yeah, um, Alex raided you. Uh, I appreciate it, though. Thank you for the raid. Uh, let me look at the activity feed. <coughs> Here, okay, I'll show. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, thank you for the raid, Party 6. That uh, was like five minutes ago. Yep. Uh, don't apologize. He didn't know I was going on break. <clears throat> All right. Uh, where were we going? Uh, we were going north, right? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we are at Sector Zero. Are you ready for another big long cutscene? Yeah. <laughs> that means I can maybe. chat. <laughs> I was say, maybe we should have just left that on while you went to um, sort yourself out. God, oh, that's true. Ace, Von Karma. <laughs> you playing Ace Attorney? Well, what else can we 
go on for ten minutes about. <laughs> I don't, you ten minutes? I think that's not even a jest. Like this cutscene's long. It really is. <laughs> What's the worst long cutscene in video games? The worst that, long cutscene that, you, that you've witnessed that I've witnessed. or had to experience. Oh, it has to be Metal Gear. Um, so. Metal <laughs> Gear. Has to be Metal Gear. From like how you... four. Maybe I don't know. MGS two has some pretty long cutscenes too, though. Yeah, but MGS 4's ending is like nearly half a Lord of the Rings. I do enjoy that though. Like to be fair to that game's ending. Like I think MGS 4's ending, including credits, is ninety minutes. Ah oh boy, wow. Sakamoto loves his Dutch camera angle. Oh uh, fucking hell! I gotta. Ignore's cutscene where someone is walking downstairs. I think, That's correct. yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. Uh, candidate of the year. <laughs> like, pick there, because holy fucking shit, we did need to just see that entire thing, didn't we? God that's a, damn. That's a that's a great. That is a great. I completely forgot about that one. Um, I wouldn't call it bad, but more nonsensical. But the codec call at the end of mgs2 where the ai is just patronizing raiden to shit because it's like 20 <laughs> minutes long and it's like raiden is right next to solid as snake <laughs> on top of federal hall and it's like is he just standing there waiting for him to finish talking to this guy because holy shit this is long you said that in your review too yeah that's yeah. a really good point i didn't think about that <laughs> He's like, eh, this kid before I kill him deserves deserves yeah, a no. Say, give him last twenty minutes. <laughs> he did, he did, he did, he did. Fucking robotic face. Hate that face. So <laughs> no, who could have done this? Is it the deleter? We need to resolve the deleter plot. The deleter's finally gonna get me. The baby. Federal Hall. <laughs> well, why did Samus went Federal Hall? <laughs> 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 well, my, my, my mind's getting wired. Getting the wires crossed. Fucking hell. Like, when I got here the first time, I was like, oh, it was a deleter. Like, fucking sneaking up on me. And then I find out it's Adam. Is Adam the deleter? No? All right, then why the fuck did he shoot me? <laughs> See, I kind of hope they don't make a Metroid anytime soon, because you know they try to cast Brie Larson in the role. <laughs> Very glad that Metroid's just floating there, not taking advantage of a down person. Well, Brie Larson is like one of the many celebrities now that just went into the whole NFT fucking scam, wasn't it? I mean, she's pretty stupid, so. Yeah. <laughs> I feel that's, I a, surprise that's an entirely <laughs> different can of wars because I, I remember we brought up the idea of Brie Larson acting as a live action Samus, and I said I wasn't against the idea because I didn't mind her in Captain Marvel. Like, I honestly, guy didn't think she was like the worst thing in Captain Marvel. Can you Marvel. hear my voice? She was the, okay, wait. Saying she's not the worst thing in Captain Marvel doesn't exactly say he prays. <laughs> I don't mind. I didn't mind her as, in, in casting. Because, like, I'm not going to pretend I know everything about Captain Marvel. And, oh, no. Brie Larson was a terrible casting choice. I don't know, you know like, Captain Marvel ahead. like that to know who what makes a good or bad Captain Marvel. I didn't mind her in the role, though. That's fair. Yeah, uh, that's from what I understand, line. again, I'm not, I'm not an expert either on this. But from what I understand, it's a very... Yes. <sighs> emotions play a role in like her power and she just right. seems very stoic throughout the entire movie and it's like you can't destroy these metro i don't know no 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 not at all what do you mean i'm going back to this Sector i'm trying to figure out what the worst most the worst cutscene in a game was I'm, I, based I, off of what they most about? likely can't be frozen based off of what there's a strong likelihood that the Metroid's mortal weakness... At least their own would be perfect. The Atomic Blonde herself. Genetic manipulation. Fantastic freaking movie, by the way. And if that's true... What are they doing? No Pull fucking antifreeze into the thing? Probably. That baby earlier. The infant Metroid. You With Fusion? No. Meant... Fusion doesn't explain true. it. In fact, the only weakness but of the I Omega Metroid is the ice beam. <laughs> Say. One thing's for certain. They're definitely propagating Metroids. They literally just write it off saying, you're right, Developing but who can say for sure? Fuck you just did! <laughs> would be suicide. It's hard to imagine the military mass producing defective weapons. 
Then again, none of this makes sense. Metroids look how are lethal. bubbly the Metroids look. Their extinction was a wise game. decision. Look at giant bubbles. <laughs> and now, since no one has the technology to defeat them, they cannot be allowed to exist. Chozo, who? Hang on, Adam. I think you just made that up, Samus. First, I need to know why you're credited as the creator of the Metroid military program report. Samus, hey, there's no such thing as Chozo's. Now go back to bed. <laughs> So, uh, Adam just theorized that it was still young, so maybe the immunity hasn't the kicked in yet. He's all, he, the the thing members. that he's basing this entire thing off of what report, ifs. So why does it matter that he gets priority over what Samus believes that what she can do? Besides the obvious fact that he's a man attempted. and she's a woman. I mean, I hate to go there, but that is HQ kind of the reason why I feel that's what they're the going with. Co-opted my report for its own purposes. Marvel's what if Adam wasn't a dumbass? <laughs> Could he just like, I don't know, disengage it from the outside rather than going You'll inside? You'll be fully recovered soon. I have several missions for you. This facility appears to be on an intercept course with Galactic Federation HQ. If what Madeline Bergman said is correct, there's so what's stopping you from just doing a couple of remote detonations and coming back? Federation. I don't think he has bombs. Exactly. One way I think or he's another, just. I, I think his sort of his plan is just to go inside the sector and go sicko mode. <laughs> you have to find the sector's like, who is this prick? Disengage and blow up. <laughs> I've located a survivor in room MW, toward the rear of the bioweapon research. Room MW. Hey, this is just one of your sons of liberty. Key witness. <laughs> Fucking fight the AI. Ah yes, MW. GW. I have several missions for you, Samus. First of all, I need you to go through a microwave corridor. Step two, I need you to upload these cat pictures into something One called GW. Alan Bergman is no ally. And most importantly, do not lose a philosopher's legacy. <laughs> we need that. You know what I said? The love could bloom, even on the battlefield. Lol, JK, I lied. Hold on, Adam. Next up, cure what are the you boat. planning to do with the Metroids here in Sector Zero? <laughs> Leave it to me. I'll deal with this place. Why can't you just you like wait till Samus gets back to her like that full can't be power? Frozen? If anything, what the fuck did you shoot her in the Sector first place? And then, so she can't okay? fight back. Is that a lens Sector flare or just now? Or are we going into? Yeah, it? <laughs> yeah, we're uh, we're not fucking uh, JJ Abrams territory. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Self destruct. Literally, the only reason why Adam shot Samus in the back is so she can't fight back. That's that's I think that's literally the only reason. Without leaving a trace. Samus just like, all right, can you authorize power bombs so that Adam. I can blow this shit up? He's like, nah, can't do that. I'm the only one who has a shot. Also, we had a cutscene earlier where Samus was towering over MB, chance. and now she looks so small. So it's either Madeline Bergman's really small, or fucking me. Adam is eight feet tall. You have to trust me. Just give me a chance. <laughs> Samus. I don't think Samus is 6'3 in this interpretation of the character. But I can't. I think there's actually an official height chart for like other you, M that I think lists her as 5'8. I'm a galactic savior. I'm merely human. But I can save you. You should be completely healed soon. And that's why this Samus is bullshit. <laughs> not 6'3, not my we'll Samus. We get started on our missions. <laughs> No, I remember she, reading that she's 6'3". I'm sorry for a rough with you. I mean, I wish I was true. <laughs> but, uh... Good luck, Samus. Either way, like... She's supposed to be over six feet tall. Wait! Is it just me, or is making Samus look like a weak small fry that can't fight with her? I mean, that's the, the, that was the purpose, is making her look like a Barbie doll outside of the suit. Make her look weak and vulnerable. Because character, depth, and emotion, and because she is a woman. No that objections. <laughs> I object. <laughs> this movie sucks. No, thumbs Objection. down. God, this scene's still going. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Dual layer technology. Just hey, look, she's giving there. us the thumbs down for the cutscene. Thank you. <laughs> nope. 
Samus had a bad taste in man. <laughs> Not in men, in man. man just in man. <laughs> That's what it said. <laughs> so I, can't, uh, I can't see the comment. Sayonara, and don't come back. Yeah, it's like, again, this, none, my of this is, none of this is earned because I don't give a fuck about this guy at all. Where's that kaboom? I don't hear the kaboom. No, there it was right there. Oh, okay. Yeah, it'll be fine. We'll see him in another Adam game. Vanished. Yes. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> My best friend. Was he? He'll be our... The person who understood me best. I don't think that's true. Why didn't Closest Adam just be like, okay, so my brain is actually secretly in another thing. So, uh, Thoughts play Fusion. <laughs> don't, don't worry, lady. Before I, I die, I will upload myself happened. to Wikipedia. Such a cruel way to say goodbye. Why Wikipedia? <laughs> Leave Ghost in the Shell out of this. <laughs> yeah. There's like that, like there's I the, only one I, the Chozo just don't exist on this game's story, dude. And though it shook me, I was calmer than I. That like the closest thing to a father I ever had also like gets under my skin because of the fucking Adam manga. Me that I have the and the only reason, and I, the only reason why I keep bringing that up because it was meant as an official tie in Zero Mission, and that game establishes no her father for figure being Grey Voice, the Chozo, but that took her in. To and in this game, just acts as if the Chozo dude just don't exist at all. Leave the rest to oh, me. The space burps. It's all space about burps. That's ridiculous. In this game. Anyway, here's a little Furby thing that becomes Ridley. <laughs> Buy it now at your local uh, Toys R Us. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit, it's got a load. <laughs> Toodaloo. Okay, let me in. <laughs> no, let me out. <laughs> That poor space fire, he's gone. <laughs> Maybe he was the human version of the father figure? No, no, I don't think they're, no, they're definitely not going for that. They're just going father figure, as in just father figure. That's it. Can't have a bird be a father figure. That's just for goddamn ridiculous in this space sci-fi. No way, please bring back the birds. <laughs> Oh yeah, so uh, the gra there's no gravity suit per se in Other M, there's the gravity effect. Uh, because apparently Sakamoto thought the purple coloring wouldn't translate well into Other M, or people thought it would be silly and everyone just laughed at him. I mean, we'd be silly and laugh at him anyway. Yeah, I mean, but apparently like the, the fucking uh, Maximum Edition restores the purple color. I mean, that'd be pretty cool to see. I don't mind the various suit design in Other M, I actually think the suit looks fine. It's nice and sleek. Goes well with the uh, lethal strike mechanic. Ow. You alright there, Samus? Yeah. Went right into a loading screen. Yeah. That game is so purple. I think we're getting ready for uh, Nightmare Round 2. Round 2! So, round yeah. 2! Can't scan there. Yeah. Scan, what the fuck am I talking about? Is that Prime? There is a Nightmare Quick Kill you can do here by getting the jump on him as soon as he becomes active. I can never do it though. You wanna try it? I can never do it, I just said. Oh, okay. <laughs> Man, look at that face. Does he still cry like a baby? Like the baby? Yeah, he does. He's crying Luigi right Mansion. now. God, that's the one thing I hated from Luigi's Mansion was that stupid baby. Wow, wow, wow. But, Linky, it's introduced my favorite game. It's called Itty Ditty Ditty Time to Eat a Baby. Step one, <laughs> get a ball. Step two, eat the baby. Like right there, my super missile just didn't fucking activate. Little 
Never forget what Luki's Warcry. I, I, man, I still hate doing that. I still go back and I kind of cringe at that. <laughs> what? Remember the yell idea when we were fighting? Oh, for the Crash Bandicoot race? No, not the Crash no, Bandicoot the race. race. The Fusion Race. Oh, I don't remember what that was. Because I was lit. Because remember the one scream I did when I was basically just helping this guy with like missiles. Oh, I I don't remember that at all. Okay, good. Let's keep I was gonna say maybe it's not as cringe as you remember it. I don't remember it. it can't be yeah. that bad. Because <laughs> that was the game I was running with you on a PlayStation Vita, and it wasn't even running full speed. <laughs> Which I'm still impressed by that. I have to wonder Ooh. what the nightmare's purpose was in the bottle ship, though. Gravity? Make people have bad dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Terrified children. <laughs> well, no, I was watching Shrek 2 on a Game Boy emulator. I was playing Fusion on a PlayStation Vita. I could have done it the other way around, but, you know, where's the fun in that? Yeah, that was faster than the first time, to be fair. I also think that was just faster. I think that was like fastest time I ever killed Nightmare. Like, oh, check got the, him. I was going to say, uh, check the brain scratch run on that one. You're 2.5 seconds. God damn it. <laughs> also, no. Nintendo did 1,500 copyright strikes to Silver Gunner. Go for Sunder. God, yep. God rest that channel. He will be remembered. Who? I, I'm not. <laughs> All right, so if you ever looked up YouTube, uh, Nintendo songs on YouTube, you've likely listened through, you listened to them through uh, Gilbert Sunder's channel. Mm. Um, and he, they deleted their channel just yesterday, I think. Yep. Oh, wow. Uh, but regardless of the, here's because the thing is, I'm, I'm, I've been seeing people thinking about like how Nintendo, it might have not actually have been Nintendo, but someone imposing Nintendo. The problem is that Nintendo's already had, had a history of taking down those kind of channels, though, anyway. So, if, any, if anything, it was just a matter of time. Uh, and I think that's kind of the... I think that's kind of the point people are missing about that sort of shit. It's like, it was just a matter of time before Nintendo decided to take the channel down, because they've always been adamant on taking channels down with that Nintendo music on it. The problem is... I don't understand Nintendo's hesitancy or just stubbornness to just not release OSTs in like Apple Music, Spotify because people will will buy them. The only reason why people download or will listen to music on YouTube is because there is no availability for them at whatsoever. Like do they really expect us to just whip out our Switch and use it as an MP3 player and listen to the game music in the game itself? No. Yes. No. <laughs> Like, people will buy the soundtracks if you make them available. You know, I fucking... I, 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 I gotta play, figure this out. Like, <laughs> At least I, they figure I play Final Fantasy XIV every day. I love that game's music. And there are ways to listen to the game's music in, within the game itself. But they still release the OSTs. Make them readily available for everyone to listen to. On Spotify, <laughs> Apple Music. It ain't hard, guys. <laughs> It really ain't hard. <laughs> yeah. yeah, when availability goes up, piracy goes down. That's exactly it. Make it available and people won't steal your shit. I don't think there's anything up there. But I can try. It is sad though, because Nintendo does have some amazing music. Yeah, yep. Nintendo's you know rich history of good music goes down for like for decades, and it's like if you don't make it easily available or at least readily available for someone to purchase, then yeah, people are going to have to rely on like downloading rips or torrents or YouTube channels, and you you take them down. You can't get angry that people get pissy about that sort of thing. We're more than willing to buy the product, but you got to make the product available to purchase. 
Out of the way, we'll get some other YouTubers going to try to do the same thing too and start uploading movies like that. Yeah, I mean, this is only a temporary setback. Someone, someone is going to replace uh, Gilbert Sunder. And there's already other channels. Yep. I was going to say. Thing to one right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember if there's any other item that I missed past there. Check it, check it, check it, check it. Ouch. <laughs> I love the little spin Where that that's ceiling comes from. <laughs> At the end. <laughs> is Silver Gunner still around? Yeah. But Silver Gunner has always been a parody, though. Never forget that you have to fuck bees. <sighs> Tip the fuck bees. <laughs> fuck bees. I know, wait, hold on. I think I already got the item in the vent here. Yeah, you did. Yeah, this is the, okay, yeah. Oh yeah, so, uh, did you also heard about Gary Bowser? Gary Bowser? Uh, uh he was a dude. He was the team executor. Yep. Sold the Switch World chips. As well as, you know, Hold on, 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 uh, on reiterate, who is he? We all dudes. Oh, one more uh, time, Victor. Leader of Team Executor made billions selling mod chips with a switch. You stole an open source code from Atmosphere. Mm. That guy. No, I don't. I don't know who that is. So. Well, I don't he, he, he got shut down like a year or so ago, and now the U.S. government's like, you know what? The sentences aren't nice enough, so we're going to try and push you to get jail for five years. But let me put this into context. Uh, stealing. Selling some pirated stuff, five years. Killing someone in the U.S., slap on the wrist. Great priorities. <laughs> Racky, is it? it's because of his last name, isn't it? <laughs> and, you know, he was also the idiot who had a fucking rum site behind a paywall, so pay for roms. Yep. Oh, which, uh, God. Like, that was some, idiotic. As, a, as someone from the oldy wear scene, that is a golden rule you don't break. <laughs> yeah, you just don't, don't do that. sell the roms. I'm gonna sell something that's not mine. What? NFTs? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh god. It's all come full yeah, circle. Yeah. <laughs> what are you? A thief? More like, no yeah. fucking thanks. Nice fucking titties. <laughs> that's the only NFTs I support. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a leak. Yeah, I saw the news about Ken Penders introducing NFTs, and he's like, "Are you? Is anybody really shocked?" Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh look, notorious piece of shit does the notorious piece of shit things, and the sky Holy is blue. Holy shit! You went far. <laughs> No fucking thanks, said by no fucking way. But you know, it's funny, uh, Santiago. That's actually my Discord name and my uh, my raid Discord. <laughs> we all went. Uh, we all went under like Loperit nicknames, and I, I chose no fucking way. I go for three way. Yeah. <laughs> Devils are regular. Yeah. <laughs> It was like, uh, I'm trying I, to I see, still uh, the fucking... Hold on, I'm trying to see, like, the, uh, the other names here. We have Baking Way, Glaring Way, No Fucking Way, Pogging Way, Shitting Way, Rollback Way, Blinding Way, Boobing Way, Dying Way, and this, this is, is the way. Yeah, and this Blended is the way. Yeah. <laughs> but do you have Hemingway? No. Ernest Hemingway? Aww. You don't have the best character from Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. <laughs> I ain't that way. Oh, sorry. I want it that way. Uh, I keep forgetting to use my own name for it. Pappy Mappy, the Thousand Yard Stare. They're calling it a freeway. <laughs> yeah, my way. <laughs> Out of my way. Uh, where's Walk This Way? Walk This Way. Uh, he's in a band meeting. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Do you know the way? <laughs> Man, I cannot wait until like that beast trap quest starts getting active. <laughs> Who's gonna be first though? Do you think it's gonna be Lopritz or it's gonna be uh, the probably Omicron? Gonna be I hope no, man. I hope it's the Omicron's first. Because I, I fucking love the idea of a guardian bouncer. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I get the Lopritz first so I get that fucking hum effect. Oh, the hummy? Yeah, it's definitely gonna be an emo. Don't look this way. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> go away. Okay. There's bye. nothing, boy. That's the... oh, go away. <laughs> 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 Unintentional, but hilarious. If you want a good one, uh, you can just call your Pokemon away in Gen 1, and then every time it'll come out, it'll just say, Go! Away! away. <laughs> A fast year. <laughs> Well, we're going to be ending the stream in about 40 minutes. I think we're getting to the queen fight, actually. Yeah, we're this almost, the not game, almost, almost at the end of the game. Yeah. Are we yep. almost there? We might just finish the main campaign tonight, then. Honestly, yeah, just like, so that uh, we can start post-game next week. Which, honestly, shouldn't take you too long. So now you have all the items. You can just go through each section once, and you're basically done. No yeah. Way. <laughs> We're at the end? No way. <laughs> you also went the wrong direction. Did I? Well, the pathway's kind of conjoined, though. Eh, the arrow's pointing that way. We can still take it. Wait, hold on. Can I shoot this? No, I can't. Not that way. <laughs> You're way of the highway. Oh, man, I love that fucking hand. That thing hurts. What the fuck is that? I don't remember that. Oh, that Linky is a waterfall. Really now? <laughs> hey, what says you, Jason? What? <laughs> Linky. What's no. up? <laughs> I was gonna come on playing music. Oh, okay. Well, Not Nintendo play. music, obviously, though. As we play a Nintendo game. <laughs> this isn't a Nintendo game, this is a Team Ninja game. Drawing decks. Drawing decks. Drawing decks. back on the back of the mind. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll have plenty of uh. Well, that was a really weird style. effect there. Which one? The, and when you went into that tunnel thing, it was like yeah. all. It's supposed to. Like yeah, because yeah, because you're, you're you're falling down. You're not going down a tube. Well, before you get well, into like, it's as not you're just that. In... The environments are TV screens, basically. Oh, okay. okay. And so that the was a crack in the screen that you were talking about, though. Yeah, it's basically supposed to be a hollow deck. Yeah. It's a glitch in it, basically, because uh, it was like, "Fuck you, I'm going this way." Screw oh, you great! I got. To, I had to say, just fucking ignore. Wait, hold on a second. What am I doing? I can just speed boost. Yeah, I mean, they, they call this a research ship, but it's more like a zoo <laughs> with the fake rocks and everything. No, Samus, I need you to go up. Go oh, down. Okay. One of the best speed boosters, in my opinion. What other M's? Yes. I mean, I don't. I think it's fine. In terms of animation. I oh, love okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's fine. I think it's it's perfectly okay. Oh, there's a missile down there. Holy shit! I might as well get that now. Let go of me! No, no. <laughs> I didn't think those guys could hold on to you like that. You. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. What well, is tentacles? So I'm not surprised. Yep. I've read enough DMC8 hentai to know where this is going. <laughs> DMC8? <laughs> <laughs> Who copyrights this shit? Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo copyright! <laughs> oh, that's porn right there. You can't Nintendo use their IP. 
No, 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 it's not Sam, it's Sh Shamus. Sham, Sh Shamus. Sham <laughs> it's Wallace. Uh, it's yes, not Mario Shamus. and Luigi, it's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, uh, Fabio and Oogie. It's there Italian you. and Lackey. It's, it's Lario and Luigi. <laughs> it's Wario and Waluigi. Wait, shit. <laughs> no, it's Scott and Pelly. Get it right. <laughs> Scapelli. 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 Only thing that they basically is like copyrighted was that uh, Super Warrior Brothers, right? <laughs> uh, yes. Yes. Okay. I thought they did some other like stuff. Or no, they, haven't done, they haven't done Super Ponyo Brothers yet. Sure. Wait, couldn't you have opened up the bridge from the other side? Shut up. <laughs> well, you don't uh, have to, like, jump back. One of my favorite memes. Which uh, one? Odin from Thor is like, was I a good father, Luigi? <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> my name is Loki. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Loki, I hate this. <laughs> Wait, my name or low? Yes. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, like, why did Ridley oh. ever come here? Oh, he didn't come here. He was made here. He was a test tube baby. Test tube yep. Barbie. Yeah. I still it. find it so weird that, you know, they they saw the corpse and they're like, yeah, we're going to freeze that. <laughs> <laughs> Save you for later. Uh, you, essentially, you yeah. Just own more? <laughs> no, freeze it. <laughs> uh, the biological equipment of right clicking and saving. I, I was frozen today. <laughs> they were just making Furbies here, then suddenly Ridley, yeah. Uh... Holy shit, Furbies make Ridley? Who would have saw that coming? The Federation. You just, didn't... you just see one of the scientists just did like, like, it just ruined but slowly walks back. <laughs> uh, we actually want to be careful here because the fucking hallway before Queen Metroid has Rinkas for no fucking reason. Of course. Well, it's... It's... And Rinkas Metroid. really hurt. Hey, look, guys, it's the deleter. Oops. Damn, that sucks. It was you. You have been deleted. <laughs> This was not the way. <laughs> so was dead. it that guy the deleter? Okay. No, this guy got deleted. But he was the last one. No, he wasn't. We do yeah. only what yeah, we're meant to I think to everybody do. else died. <laughs> Is that a fucking dragon heart? <laughs> the black guy's not dead. Well, I mean, obviously, I was talking about the other, like, non-named guys. <laughs> <laughs> Rips of that guy, but I'm built different. Matrix. Rip to that guy, but I'm built different. <laughs> Unfortunately, Johnny Five is indeed alive. Number five, five is alive. I hate that this model for Samus on the Wii looks like a Mega Block set model. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, don't I think it's the, the coloring. I, I like the suit design. Uh, is it the coloring or is it the texture of the suit? Like it's very glossy. A little bit of both. It's glossy as hell. And okay. like that's a mega Slimer, block right there. came everywhere, guys. This is what we're seeing. <laughs> God, I can't believe this is where they chose to. I don't want to walk in here. Someone said, "Hey, spoilers, brother M." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sam just shoots at him. I'd be like, "All right, fuck you." Dude, like, really looks like he was—he died in the middle of telling a funny joke, or at least laughing at a funny <laughs> joke. Like, he literally wheezed to death. So, Arkham City? <laughs> yeah. Now that was a good one. Yeah, yeah. Went up wide. <laughs> that actually is pretty funny. But still, they played froze this Paul corpse. <laughs> Ridley is played by Paul Rubens. <laughs> Alright, so we, we have to shoot this. This is going to activate the Rinkos. Or, I guess we have to be far away. Wait. I think we're too far away. No, wait. Hold on a second. Look, can okay, we discuss that real quick? Well, what's up? You know, R Ridley, he, get, he gets murdered by Samus. 
then they clone his <laughs> clone his blood from off of him. <laughs> he gets nearly killed by Samus again, sucked to death, <laughs> then frozen alive, and then eaten by an ex-parasite. <laughs> Wait, wait, he was sucked to death, then frozen alive? <laughs> yep. Yeah. No, he was sucked to death at the end, I was going to say. Like, he died, then came back, and then got frozen. <laughs> he died, he got the good suck, and then he got frozen, and then he got another good suck. Oh my god, now, fucking I, Seeker. I got sucked off by a goddamn Metroid, but you know what? BSL life insurance saved me. <laughs> Ex-Parasite life insurance yeah. saved me. <laughs> And then they were just like, "Yeah, we'll put Nightmare here too." <laughs> Why not? We got the, we got the extra room. So, this, so Ridley is proof that death is only the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> we'll turn you into a robot. We'll basically inject you with this purple. No, he wasn't. Turn, I mean, Better Ridley wasn't really a robot. He was just augmented. What about the Cyber giant ass like Mecha Frieza? No, <laughs> the giant robot at the end of Zero Mission was just a vanity project. I will not hear otherwise. <laughs> a vanity for a chick if they're just going, you know what? I want another me. Yeah, I mean, ba basically. Hello. Hello, are uh, you in there? You can't destroy me so easily, X. <laughs> I like how Sam is hesitant to like bang on the window with all her force. And, like she decides like last minute to, just, to give it a love tap. I want to fucking like, fuck you. Who are you? Hey, open the door. <laughs> I'm here to oh. save you. Do I'm you not have the leader. For apple juice. Hold on, Samus, like, you should know. Don't tell her to calm down. That ain't gonna work. <laughs> All right, final boss time. It's this really like five minute long awkward cutscene where they're just trying to mouth to each other with those subtitles and doing these really over exaggerated hand gestures. And then Samus no, takes she... like the helmets, breathes onto the window, and just right when she needs to write on. <laughs> no, not even that. She tries to breathe on the window but forgets that her helmet's on, so she just plugs up the helmet. Metroid <laughs> eggs. Eggs for short. <laughs> well, there's one. Oh, boy. Now it's scrambled. So the Metroids are kind of a pain in the ass on this one, because you have to fucking... They, you get swarmed by them easily. Good oh, thing we have power oh. bombs. <laughs> Not yet. So oh, I died a lot to this boss fight because of that shit. Push it, push it, push it. <laughs> He's budding. Don't you have to see that? I don't need skin on my ribs. So, when do we do the second phase of this fight where the screen comes up and a giant mecha fight and suddenly we're doing punch out? So, I did have to ask how is this plasma cold? Uh, it's just combined. I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's so hot, it's cool, it's so cool, it's not hot, hot. <laughs> Did I play the one for 101? I did the tutorial mission, that's about as far as I got. Uh, this, this boss fast. sucks because there's so many Metroids thrown at you. And you have to go into first person mode to take care of them with a missile. So you're supposed to like round them up and use like the diffusion beam to freeze a bunch of them at once and then just go fucking ham. The problem is the diffusion beam won't hit all of them at once. And you can't take the time to good. like nuke one of them at a time because you have the other one swarming your ass. Just keep sense moving for charge shot. Dude, no, it's so wait, you talking about throwing missiles? Dude, it's so awkward. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't quite actually die for nothing. That's right, because the Queen Metroid's here. <laughs> but in Sector Zero. Yeah, so he died as he lived, like a little bitch. Don't worry, we get his robotic AI in the next game. Or an AI named after him. Yeah. Because apparently great military minds get turned into AI in this uh, series. Dude, I think they made a mistake God, about this it. fight <laughs> fucking blows. It's not even a fight, it's just... It's just Get the luck of the draw! Avoid the swarm, avoid the swarm, avoid the swarm. 
Like, I want to... I can't stop to fucking shoot a missile at these guys, because I'm getting swarmed immediately. Like, is there a quick kill? I am all for. Like, I would just screw attack into these guys if I had to. Yeah, besides, like, bringing the off, I was going to believe in you. <laughs> oh look, shockwave fucking uh. Fuck you queen. Where's that the blue coming from? <laughs> there you go. Some sort of thing urgent about oh uh, right, you have to hold this thing on a collision course with some major federation thing. I'm sure it's not important. And not to run out of missiles and have to do a combat reload. Oh, of course not. Like <laughs> he's afraid of the combat reload. He's no, afraid I'm... of the combat. Reload. Oh, it's just COVID. <laughs> oh, it's wow. That's a sentence. <laughs> Holy fuck! Nah, it's just COVID. <laughs> I hate saying that, but fuck it through. <laughs> this <is a> clogged artery. <laughs> Don't need those lungs for anything anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna breathe. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude! The auto aiming is so dog shit in these fights. I can't, I can't take the time to stop and shoot missiles. Tell them to stop. Missile. Use missile. John, use bumper. That's what it's there. <laughs> I'll take two missiles to kill them. Yeah, why not just spam missiles? <laughs> I don't have the time to shoot them! <laughs> Will you tell your what baby you to mean? stop eating me? Just attach the nunchuck and go into perfect, permanent <laughs> first person mode. So Bruce Lee them. <laughs> Oh, great, on, great timing. I freeze time them and she does the fucking shockwave. Protect the babies. Baby. Fuck them kids. Baby. <laughs> fuck, fuck them kids. Maybe <laughs> 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 I should have that somewhere here. Alright, there's one more left. God, I can't wait. Phil. Uh, I am next in line for my stream deck. Hey. My steam deck, I should say. What about your stream deck? Finally, you get to play hentai lover. It's on the stream deck. I'm kidding. I'm sure it's your turn of Samus. <laughs> Okay, so Queen Metroid only has like one danger attack and it's the flamethrower, and we want to be careful with this flamethrower. This flamethrower actually really hurts. I think Fire it does like hurts. a whole. It, 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 it does like a whole fucking meter. But I have the fire suit. Oh, it's atomic flame, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Godzilla breath. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hello, madam. Fine day we're having. <laughs> Where's the leak, madam? I do my own plumbing. Oh, okay, then here's your pizza. Why did I drift left? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a drift, boys. It's all. It was all that. Um, it was all that gravity training. <laughs> Hanging a little <laughs> left now, there, Sean. Man, this Joy-Con drift is getting ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Affecting my Wii. What the fuck was that? Did she just shit something out of her yeah, she exhaust did. pipes? <laughs> yes. Why did. does she have exhaust pipes? <laughs> then why is shit coming out? <laughs> <laughs> I have so many questions. Does Metroid shit? That's I thought they were like arteries. Damn. <laughs> I'm just yeah. noticing the exhaust pipes. <laughs> yeah, that's that's definitely exhaust. <laughs> oh, shit. Or 
Jars. I use Flame Jar. It's super oh hard. my god! Can we stop with the Gen 1? <laughs> god! Concentrate, concentrate, concentrate. And concentrate. You get so much health back from that, though. Well, only, only if you have uh, the extra parts. A penis? No, no, no. The exhaust pipes. Ah. <laughs> we talked about this. Pay attention. <laughs> ah, new half. I understand <laughs> that. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, here we go. All right. That Joy-Con drift again. Up. Straight ahead. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, I'm sleepy. We're gonna open my mouth. Fooled you! I can't believe we fell for the oldest trick in the book. Are we playing Sonic Arms? What's going on? <laughs> can you feel the sunshine? No! Get him. <laughs> Wait, can you feel the sunshine? No! <laughs> well, I feel the sunshine. Yes, I believe that's UV rays. I <laughs> the <laughs> Johnny, hit the brakes! <laughs> if I don't get SP Factor 50, <laughs> it might just ruin my day. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! That thing's getting sunburned. Birds! Can you feel the hyper beam? <laughs> oh, wait, shit. I don't have that here. <laughs> Warning. Emergency <laughs> brakes engage. How do space brakes work? <laughs> <laughs> uh, reverse oh, thrusters. Yeah, that's the only way it could work. You yeah. just yeah. hear like the tires. <laughs> you <laughs> you tires just hear like the loudest like tire screeching noise coming from the outside. Because you have to remember, there's no. Gravity Doesn't make any sense. Space. space, you couldn't hear. You can't hear anything. Well, you couldn't hear anything, and also at the same time, with all the amount of frost, um, there's no gravity, ergo, there's no friction, which means even with your engine turned off, you still have that momentum, so you would need retro engines to go backwards. Yep. So, first time I find this boss fight, I did not know you can power bomb. Nobody knew you can power bomb! <laughs> the game doesn't tell you! <laughs> I think I everybody did. dies. When the power bomb goes off, I wish. Powerbomb needs a better sound. You know, I think a very loud, obnoxious whoosh might be yeah, needs a cappuccino noisemaker. How did you survive that? Powerbomb no. sound, ready? Ding! <laughs> I think the powerbomb <laughs> needs something like, you know, like... <laughs> Powerbomb's ready. <laughs> Dude, that <lady> <laughs> 30 minutes late. <laughs> oh. whoa, 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 now, your late. regular bomb, the regular bomb needs to sound like this. Oh, Liddy, how the fuck did you survive that? Eh, head in the fridge. Bergman, come back! <laughs> no, stop, don't wait, come back. She's a Karen, don't, I see your don't haircut. Proceed. <laughs> oh, were you playing a sound? Because it, it didn't come through. I was kind of waiting oh, for Lord. the punchline, I never played. And I was like, wow, I got blue balls. I dare you, Taco blue Bell gong Jason. sounds and the Undertaker rises. <laughs> well, so wait, how the hell after the Taco Bell gong? <laughs> Also, oh, how the hell right, did right. she outrun Fucking, all those Yeah, we're just gonna finish the main campaign today because we might as well just leave now. This is literally the we're end of the game. No, 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 no. We'll see you Cock tease everybody. Just stop the video. No, right now. why would I do that? Because <laughs> next time on Dragon Ball Z, <laughs> Krillin dies. <laughs> what? Fuck you, why did you spoil it? <laughs> <laughs> or no, it was Vegeta dies. My Fuck. <laughs> An uh, it's fine. Raditz dies, and no one will mourn him. Here, and I know how you must feel. I'm an independent I'm bounty hunter. Last so time on Dragon me. Ball Z, Adam died. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Last time on DMCA, <laughs> Madam Bergman. Survived a fucking what, what news. I thought you were just gonna say Battle of Berg, but that's it. <laughs> There's a cue the episode title. <laughs> I'm responsible. I was honestly for the last time on DMCA, just followed by nothing but five minutes of silence. <laughs> Black dog copyright grounds. I met another woman who called herself Madeline Berg. The Berg! The Bergman's in front of us. Madeline the Bergman? Bergman? Like MB? Mother, bitch! 
She was creating yeah. Yeah. Have, ever, right? have you ever heard of just printing your ID on the, I don't know, a sheet of plastic? You see, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, what do you do when the battery runs out? Exactly. <laughs> Charge it. <laughs> Replace them. <laughs> there are options. How do you prove who you are? Federation's foolish plan. Just as Madeline, or rather MB. Right, Federation's foolish for... plan. Long cutscene. The person who sabotaged the prime minister the of the Federation's badge battery went so out, and now he's locked out the office doors. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even check hey, my we mail. Need any, we don't need any uh, Mark Zuckerberg jokes here. <laughs> it's fine. This very suspiciously nice gentleman came around and gave him this fake ID. I think it's fake anyway. Wait a minute. This is Agent 47. I don't see any bald men anywhere. I just think that... Hey, wait. What's that? So the idea behind Madeline Bergman, well, MB, the android, was to give the Metroids a... It was twofold. One, they wanted to control Metroids via telepathy, via mother brain. And one, because it needed to be a human S figure because of the baby's relationship with Samus Aran, which is not really a thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's not Samus, so it's like, you're not my mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's more like, you know, the baby Metroid didn't didn't grow attached to Samus because she was Samus, because she was it was the first thing that they saw when it, it hatched from the egg. You're not my mom. I don't know you. <laughs> so it's sucking the life out of you. <laughs> started propagating Metroids in Sector Zero. Yeah, the reason why MB kind of looks like a younger Sam is because they were just trying to replicate. I don't know why they had to make it look, I had to look like Samus. Samus was just, Samus, Samus was just there. It doesn't matter that it was Samus Aran. Apparently, the queen I met earlier was the first of these propagated Metroids. And yeah, they really no. want to use the 3D models. <laughs> they wanted to preserve her as a But John, we need to have maternal callbacks. There's already so many fucking maternal call- There are no themes. The, the, the fucking themes the are as subtle as a clown with his cock out, dude. Like, <laughs> like there's like- team could have predicted. <sighs> That was a sign of there, like there are there are references look out his cock so and to, gravity or <laughs> there are references to maternity but it doesn't mean anything it doesn't mean anything that's what it is like none of it means shit like who fucking cares like there's the bottle ship like there's the bottle ship there's Madeline Bergman's relationship with MB there's the baby's cry there's the baby Metroid there's what am I forgetting anything? Uh, you know this game wasn't made by a mother. Fucking other M is just an anagram for mother. The anagram for Metroid other M is mo who cares? Yeah, you sure are referencing baby a lot and maternity. What's the point? Well, it's to generate interest for Mother Three, obviously. <laughs> oh my God! You want this? This Sakamoto was point. trying to help like, us all what along. Is, <laughs> what is, we didn't listen. What is the idea behind the maternity themes? What are you? What point are you trying to convey? Video game. That's my problem with this whole thing. Is like you can have like themes are a thing, but what is the point you're trying to convey with the themes? Nothing fucking matters in this game. <laughs> it all resets. To so zero. Wouldn't leave my mind. Back to mother. Yes, back to Mother. To it started with Mother Brain, it ends with Mother Brain. A human-like existence, but one without feelings. Can we just play Super Metroid now? No, we already played human. earlier. Oh, In yes. essence, Mother Brain is the reason why Samus is where she is today. She's almost like a mother. The thing is, though, I don't, I don't take it as pretension. I take it as misguided. On the day we were going to alter MB's program. I we're here to basically take away your daughter who is basically growing attached to you through emotional right needs. Eyes, but fuck you, we're the government, I guess. I watched her being Hi, we're the government. We're here to take your baby. On the battlefield! <laughs> yes, on the battlefield. <laughs> she reached out to me and asked me for help. But there was nothing I could do. Uh Platinum Man was unable to get Wendy's had to go to Chick-fil-A instead. No, oh, I mean it's not the end of the world. My presence that day. Unless you're gay. Yeah, I was gonna say you really. I, I know, but baby, you can't taste racism. <laughs> what the fuck? My favorite laugh from yeah. too. 
Chick-fil-A will kill you if you are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, uh, he literally gets set on fire. Mm-hmm. Madeline had taken to calling NB. You also get set on fire if you try to order on a Sunday. She took the initials <laughs> NB and told the AI they stood for oh, Melissa Bergman. It looks like Remember when the boss gave birth to Revolver Oslat on the beaches in Normandy? It sound like Madeline was calling her her daughter. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely a detail. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, it's true. It's fucking true. Yeah. You're bullshit. <laughs> no. <laughs> I would have loved it if her name was Melissa Brain. <laughs> Come on, that'd be funny. I'd laugh. The facility fell into complete chaos. Also, you know what's really stupid? What's up? So, Mother Brain was this huge machine. Yeah. They showed that they had to make a pretty huge Mother Brain uh, for for MB, and then now they consolidated this all down into one human. Well, it's just an Android. Like, it's it's more about the algorithms and brain patterns inside the Android that matters and not the actual thing itself. Yeah, technology shrinks over time is a good way of putting it. Blue that fast? <laughs> Dude, how fast did we fucking go from Blackberries to an iPhone to fucking Apple Watches? Like, it happens. And in sci-fi, you can say that they go from, like, a huge-ass tank to a, 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 a human. I can buy that. That's not a problem with She's a cyborg. Why is she interfacing no, she's with an the android? She's an android. <laughs> like android. A human. Android. She's fully autonomous. She's not any she's human. She's just. Corner. She just looks human. She bleeds. Either way, oil. why does she control the machines by touching them? Right John, think yeah, portable phone star with Blackberries. I just Blackberries the first thing that came to mind. It's five G, Jason. Like when I see like the old fashioned. Into that when I, it's funny because when I think of old fashioned cell phones that look like bricks, Wait, I don't think they're phones. I think they're bricks. <laughs> Madeline, step back. Okay, so why are you here with a gun when you can summon every fucking pirate onto the space station? Why do you have to be like this? You're a robot. You should think smarter than this one. But no, I'm just gonna stand here with a gun and call it a day. Dude, also, what happens to her voice here? Like, she gets very monotone here for no fucking reason. I was like, oh shit, the jig is up. I can't act human anymore. Detroit become life. human. Words of data. I am an android. MB. We have to get past this. No. You're a fucker. That's what you are. You, 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 <laughs> android lives matter. saying obviously. that to her. It's like you are a fucker. You know that. You just heard every moment of this. That's why I'm putting the gun at you, Dick. I promise. Why is this suddenly become a David Cage game? <laughs> Wait a minute. Where are the bubbles around your Detroit face? Detroit become mother. <laughs> Well, as you can see, you missed the no, no, it's, it's, uh, about um, to become it's symbolic. They look like the they look like the Metroid nucleus. It's symbolical. It is definitely something. <laughs> become <laughs> <brain. laughs> No more paper clips. See a bunch of tyrants coming behind her. Yeah. No, they just has. To, uh, what, what's the fucking thing called? I'm going to show you the tyrant. Okay, Madeline, honey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, her Samus's animation there, stepping backwards, is really funny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, at the same time, Madeline shouldn't even be standing right now. She's just got thrown with enough thing to get close life from Samus. She shouldn't even be fucking breathing at the moment. Samus oh, frozen today. Stop it. <laughs> Well, that was a mild inconvenience. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that. <laughs> you know what? I, I feel like she would have been actually one of the final bosses where she basically moves around like Samus. You basically gonna fight her, fight against her, as she's basically. No, that'd be interesting. Hey, no, I know. man. The I way feel like that was cut. <laughs> the way this should have ended was we freeze her and she walks forward. She collapses like the T one thousand. That Samus shoots her in the face with a one liner and then leaves. And wait, here she is interfacing with the machine telepathically instead of touching monitors. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Johnny, are you ready for the final point and click? No, there is a detail here that Lewis pointed out in the Brain Scratch commentary that I can't unsee for the rest of my fucking life. I'll talk about it when it happens. So I want you to pay attention to the visor, the heads up display, as this sequence is happening. When it actually happened. Holy fuck, this goes on forever. Holy shit. <laughs> I 
Yep, there's monsters. I did. I, I still never understood why they had grappling hook tongues. Oh, I don't know. Okay, I think it's right here. Like, pay attention to the HUD here. Isn't this the plot of a Resident Evil movie? Uh, uh which one? Telepathically controlling the zombies. Which one? One of the animated ones. Alright, right here. Because this is no boss fight. We literally just got to lock on to Madeline in the game. The, the fight's over. Samus, don't do that. That's too dangerous. There's people here. Can't eat the plasma. 99, two energy tanks. Look at the high schools. Oh. Stop! The visor you know, doesn't zoom nice. in. The visor gets closer to Madeline, which means Samus's neck just became a fucking giraffe. <laughs> and it went 69 <laughs> feet forward. <laughs> like just make it it's like Lewis noticed that in the, in the in the brain scratch run, and I, I lost my shit because it's true. Like the visor didn't zoom. It, it went forward. So she just stretched her neck to make sure. Yep, that's MB, all right? All right, I gotta shoot you now. The fuck you call me, you little bitch? Yeah. <laughs> it's literally that's the Walking move, Dead Carl meme. Look, where it's like the fucking his neck is stretching like 30 feet. That shows how DNA does some weird oh, ass shit. Ah. <laughs> Melissa! I'm used to watching Luffy do that headbutt. Yeah. I know! I was about to pull up a fucking image of Luffy doing that shit. Oh no, Samus took a bite of gum gum. <laughs> <laughs> He's made of Metroid. How did that happen? Yo ho ho. <laughs> he made about a gum that Metroid. Yo ho ho. Yo she's ho ho. She took a Metroid vaccine. <laughs> Adam Malkovich, she's kind of dead, and then there's Albany. Do you remember this guy? That man is that man's <laughs> face is sixty five percent nose. <laughs> Close up they oh, did earlier. Hi, Look at that! Look at that thing! I that sausage that. sitting out the front. You Yo, her, her parents are dead. Fucked <laughs> 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 up. Seriously, 5% nose. That's the general. Can't you tell why he's older? Madeline. Wait, Aaron. Why did she stumble like that? Did she trip on something on the way over there? <laughs> what the fuck was that? And to think that his entire unit was annihilated. Truly a tragic day. Would you... I you want my Metroids... His entire unit was annihilated. <laughs> Sadly... His John, voice is up a couple octaves now. <laughs> you're just an outsider. And given your I wonder if this guy is in charge of the deleter. But I just made contact with her. <laughs> her leg <laughs> fell asleep from standing in place for so long. Illegal cargo like infant Metroid. I must ask it wasn't illegal cargo! She was literally fucking... <laughs> Time for the lady to go home. Someone escort her. Yes, sir. She was literally asked to send it to the station. What the fuck are you talking about? This isn't my ship. So what are you talking about? Stop right there. Who are you? Remember me? <laughs> Anthony Hicks, sir. Who are you? I'm your da. Yeah, we fucking ball back. It's Anthony. Applause. <laughs> Of this mission. <laughs> what? Authorized by the chairman. I thought you died with the deleter. <laughs> what? I mean, congrats on surviving this horrible, <laughs> horrible scenario. <laughs> Those. <laughs> Look at that. They keep showing it. It's just right there. I'm going back to his face. They always told me it was the black guy that was supposed to die first. Why is he standing here right now? <laughs> Sir, I think you're saying the loud part, the quiet part out loud. Crazy. Crazy well, see you later. Good. 
Well, that's the, uh, that's the oh shit, a monster! Metroid Other M subverts expectations and is a cinematic masterpiece for having the black guy the only guy that lives. <laughs> Anthony was trying to be courteous to Madeline. She was exhausted. So this is your sh uh, ship, Samus. Uh, where, where's the bathroom? <laughs> well, no, it's lucid. It's not Samus's inner thoughts. It's the commander's inner thoughts. <laughs> Since he was, you know, kind of hoping that everyone would have died so he can pin the blame on Samus. <laughs> Still can't get, my head around it. get rid of the one thing that can take out their weapon. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I watched all my friends die. So, hey, at least we're okay, right, Samus? <laughs> and the best thing what is, we all did it together! There's I literally did people. the thing so like Mike, get the fuck out of here. You literally hear Madeline just go or, or MB just going. Yeah. Like I was like so flying through this like oh something these fucking nebulous look like MB. <laughs> no. Anybody right, else we'll see this shit right? It's not me right? <laughs> one day a conscious. Hey wait, that galaxy's blown. blowing up and I'm not the one doing it. Quite <laughs> frankly. I'm saying it's like. is just like wait a minute nothing went kablooey yet. Am I done with this mission? <laughs> and then Madeline's like, uh, I need you guys to drop me off. I'm being reassigned to another station. Where's the, what's that? The BSL station. <laughs> ah, you too have been reassigned to all the shittiest laboratories. Alright guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop off here. Yeah, yeah right, thank you for the company, Russ. We're, we're done here, this is the end of the game. Uh... Yeah, oh, that would be but, uh, a horrible. I appreciate sure you coming, Russ. Yeah, you have a good night. You too, guys. Talk to you later. Yep. Why does this galaxy keep reforming into this? Their one vulnerability overcome. Okay. The Metroids were in Madeline and Anthony being Some shipped over to the bottle ship, and then they put Nightmare and Frozen Ridley over there. Yeah. Hey, what do you want to do with this Ridley guy? Yeah, no, it's so weird back. that Samus's ship looks like a fucking toy. Like another M. It's so weird. Why did Adam have Which you can get right now at your nearest Happy Me uh this game came out ten years ago. For me. Uh Monkey Wrench, I know the game is not over. I've played and beaten this game like six times. It's okay. This game's old. Play the fucking game. I don't like the fight either. What Phantom? Yeah. Well Phantom it's just there. Objections. Well, it, yeah, it highlights it, the issues with the motion sense. Well, walk the other way Adam's then. Voice in my head. <laughs> also, I love Samus with long hair like this. I actually don't mind this look. And I knew in my heart that he had made the long right hair decision. with the, I guess, casual jacket or is that a military jacket? Just as he know. had so many uh, military ago. jacket. Even more long hair, Samus. So, so hair, I the... swore not to. So, Samus, do you live in an apartment complex or do you actually have a house? I think she listened to the shit, time. dude. <laughs> I have a uh, oh, I had a home. Just in case. The plus one. Got massacred. Oh, I also had this adoptive. Oh, oh she's wait, eyeing something. She's eyeing something. <laughs> she's checking for a nuke. <laughs> I really His hope Anthony comes back into the game. As he I wouldn't to mind it. Something. But Anthony Space died on the BSL station. <laughs> that last For all the Galactic Anthony. Federation troops that died on there. It's okay, Anthony was taking a vacation day that day. <laughs> hey man, I dig the bald look rather than whatever the fuck was happening in that flashback. That lightning bolts in his head. What the fuck is that shit on your head? I was honestly just waiting for an edit of this scene where uh, Samus does the whole punch him in the gut thing, but just sends him flying off camera. Oh, the fucking burnt DNA! Forgot about that shit. Oh, fucking paid. <laughs> Is it because you're bald, John? No, not now. I'm balding. Definitely. I haven't had a haircut in a while. Actually, I'm kind of embarrassed with my sculpt, so I'm just gonna go with the Palpatine look for now. Oh, well, you do got the hoodie and everything. Pray for it. <laughs> Honestly, whenever I go bald, I'm gonna go for the dark brown approach where my hair is just like fluffing out to the sides. When you go bald, you're gonna go for the dark. You, you don't have a choice, you're bald. <laughs> yeah, but it, uh, it, it, I still have hair on the side of my head. Oh, okay, so okay. It's okay. Still going that way, but it's gonna be happy. 
Also, why is, you know, Galactic Federation HQ on the Coruscant Temple? Don't worry about it. <laughs> now eat your hamburger. Or eat your Metroid. I don't know. What do you got? <laughs> well, it took us two sessions and we're already done the story. But now we got to do a whole bunch of cleanup. Honestly, it won't take too long. I hope not. I would like to get this game done by next Saturday so that we can head into fucking AM2R. Alright, so it's going to take six more sessions. Is that sick? Which version <laughs> of AM2R? Uh, the most recent one. Okay, so you're not going to do the earlier versions with like Powerbomb Skip and everything? No, no, because I'm not going to be doing it anyway. Aww. <laughs> no, it's like, I, I, I never sequence break the AM2R. I, I, I never played the game that much to know all that kind of uh, tricks of the trade. Yeah, Federation okay. Forces after AM2R, uh, I reckon. And we will be trying to do a multiplayer set of Hi, Jeff. We, are, we will be doing multiplayer with that. Welcome to the ending, Trav. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, Joe? Uh, I took a fucking nap. Man, I wish that were me. Go I sad. got soda and tater tots. <laughs> You're drunk on tater tots? No, I got soda and tater tots. Oh, I like to get. Uh, so how'd it go? I mean, it was it was mostly cutscenes. <laughs> we talked about it a lot. Say, of it was like shit. I think it was like an hour worth of cutscenes on this four-hour session. But right. you know, man, I, I would just save you time and just tell you to look at my versus video I did a couple of months ago. So that's my uh, most recent opinions on this and everything I said. That still holds true now. I don't mind story in Metroid. It just needs to be a good story. Oh and my god. Holy shit. Story. What's up? Uh, so you know that commander dude? Uh, he shares the same face, same voice actor with the fucking balloon top guy from fucking Mario Party 9. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's a pool. <laughs> yeah, Wait, no, guy. that's 8. Oh, that's 8? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mario Party 8. Oh, okay. I got the right character. <laughs> all right, Savage, give us the baby. <laughs> the thing is that they made choices in this game, and almost all of them are the wrong choice. <laughs> this game is 12 years old. Yes, it is. Wait, no, it'll be 12 later this year. Well, you, you know I do. No, I don't know you. <laughs> no, fuck <laughs> it's 11 years old. Yeah. Dumbass. It's 11 and a half. No, wait, it came out in October, right? Or August. I'll fucking know. Well, no, wait, when did it come out? I'm pretty sure it was August or October. That's still st six to eight months from now. When other M come out? Hero Boomy Inc. August 30 once. 30 once. <laughs> You're one of those douches that pronounces 11 as 1T1. Yes. <laughs> Is there anything after the credits? Did we have the whole post game stuff with the Fantoon fight? But we're gonna be oh. doing that next session. Because we're already in cleanup. Oh, you still have cleanup. Yeah, it's 100 percent Yep. Yeah, we're doing Hell yeah. the wall. We're 100 percent the game. So. I forgot that there's credits before the Fantoon thing. Yeah, it's really weird. <laughs> yeah, about to say the way you have to get to Fatoon, you have to go through the entirety of the model ship, so. It's basically oh perfect time for cleanup because you already have all of your power ups and you can just. That's great. I didn't do it all in one go. Yeah, yeah. We still have uh, one or You're two. You're doing that next left. week? Yeah, next Saturday. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we're doing it right now. No, no, I'm not doing it right now. Fuck that. <laughs> next time on Dragon Ball Z. Wait, Wait no. <laughs> just chill out and 14 for the rest of the night. Just relax. Next time on Trav Guy TV. Uh, oh, actually, um, let me uh, read it right now. I uh, still got some uh, streamers, well, not streamers, but uh, viewers here. Uh, in terms of what's happening tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to be doing uh, more Batman Arkham City, and we're also going to be doing the Mario Kart uh, Subnight Tournament. Uh, for the sake of time, we're going to do the Mario Kart Subnight first. Uh, and that will start at 3 o'clock, 3 p.m. EST. Uh, then we will wrap up with Batman Arkham City. That way I won't have any uh, potential Subnights, uh, sub like, like staying up li later than you need to. That was weird. I won't oh, be up? there because I'm going to be seeing uh, Spider-Man with my brother, but I hope you guys have fun. Oh, okay. I'll watch it four more times. Batman will this start will after the tournament is over, Otaku. Basically, because that, that, the tournament at the Mario Kart 8 is only going to be two hours long. 
So after our break, I want to say Arkham City will probably start around 5.30. Hmm. Oh. But, uh, I have you set on my auto host, and it didn't have you hosted right now. That's weird. You know what? I don't yeah. think the auto host thing works. Because I have a few channels set to auto host, and I check my channel every once in a while, and no one's fucking hosting it, even when they're live. Like, well, uh, my, my, my raid leader, 14. auto host if you're raiding after stream? No, because uh, there are times I won't uh, raid them at all. Like, I have well, one of my channels that I have set to auto host is my buddy Ray, who streams 14 all the damn time. A mission that will most oh. likely be uh, and he's, I, I never see him on my channel. I still have to actively set the host. I'm tonight. heading toward the bottle ship yep. now. I'm going to oh, rescue yeah, something that's stream. Finally, it'll be there. streaming the first time in like, uh, about a month. Something <laughs> that can't be replaced. No, I mean, it could be yeah. replaced. I'm just going to order it off Amazon. What are we replacing off Amazon? Soup. We're ordering soup on Amazon? Chunky chicken. Why are you ordering soup at the bottle ship? Oh, no. Um, <laughs> thirsty. <laughs> oh, I was like, what was that? What if I just turn around right now and see that? <laughs> that... What are those? I just noticed that. No, it's the one. The hieroglyphs? The hieroglyphs in front of the ship, yeah. I mean, the, 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 ships, I mean, they're uh, low res as shit, but. I think even the ship in Prime 2 had those um, hieroglyphics on them. Huh. I wonder what it says. Other Honk M if you're. Oh. Hieroglyphs. <laughs> Damn, it's what's up with the LEDs on your windshield, man? <laughs> How do you How see? How do you see? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Samus, that is an illegal tint. <laughs> You're going to jail, Samus. All right, guys, we're done uh, for tonight. We will reconvene next Saturday for other M post game cleanup. Hopefully, we can do it in a session. I don't think we can. Uh, because I've never done it before, we're going to be scouring through a lot of areas. So here's hoping it won't take too terribly long, but we'll see what we can do. Again, uh, tomorrow we have the Mario Kart 8 uh, sub-night tourney. That'll be at 3 p.m. EST. It's going to be for two hours, basically. And then afterwards, we will wrap it up with another session of Batman Arkham City. So, uh, thank you, Simms. Uh, oh. Let me um, see if I can uh, rate a mutual if anybody's there. Oh, never mind. I rated Ray last time. Oh, what's up? Uh, I was going to say, you want to know what the... Uh... <clears throat> the hieroglyphs on the ship say, what is uh, but I, I misunderstood it, and apparently in Super Metroid, uh, the left side of the ship says Chozo. Uh, so oh. maybe that's the same here. Uh, is it a I fucking vanity plate? <laughs> maybe. Fuck you if you're a Chozo. Uh, oh, no, you're, you're good. That's all I got. Let me see if uh, anybody's playing Metroid Other Room. I doubt it, but let's see. Uh, you have 315 viewers, and there's one other person who's under Other M, but is watching the Rudy Rose. Yeah, that doesn't count. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think that counts. Uh, let us raid a uh, fucking someone playing. Of super, someone drag. playing uh, super drag. Metroid. Yeah, super Metroid. Let's do super Metroid. Uh, fucking. How about we? Let's see. I guess that shines Metroid. I was going to say, Oats and Ghost doesn't need the raid because fucking, he's already a prolific Metroid streamer. Is he playing with Goats and Oats? It's about to. Oh, okay. There we go. Looks so like we got some folks here playing uh, Super Metroid Race. All right. Lloyd. Uh, we need... I like Melissa Brain. <laughs> I like man Minecraft as an anime. <laughs> I did tell Nora about that, by the way. She was fucking floored. Uh, <laughs> all right, guys. But uh, if you don't have a raid hashtag, you could also just spam my face into my own. That's fine. It's cool. Melissa Brain. Yeah, I like Melissa Brain. Uh, my uncle <laughs> suggested that earlier. Have a good night, guys. I will see you tomorrow with more, uh, more Twitch goodness. <laughs>